You notice how everything that he does is just a pawn in a fucking stupid drama game that doesn't fucking even affect him in the end? He doesn't need HRT. He doesn't need any of this shit. This is just a pride thing for him. This is for his stupid fucking white boy Floridian ego. It's a fucking game for this bitch. Uh, Keffel's sorry, sorry. My apologies for the unwarranted sexism towards a cis white man. I'm sure he's gonna try and cancel me over it. My imps, it is time for us to talk about a subject that I'm sure for many of you uh, is a drama. And uh, it's definitely very dramatic, that's for sure. Um, but for me, this is very personal. And of course, I am talking about the uh, falling out that I have uh, had with Xander Hall and that Xander Hall has had with me. Uh, Xander Hall is a a uh, lefty political streamer and over the course of a couple of months uh, he has begun taking some shots at me uh, and other creators uh, and it got really cringe. I have a video on it on my channel called uh, Birthday Boy Zan Starts Some Drama if you want to see where it kind of uh, started but the truth is it started a lot earlier than that. Um, Zan, I have now found out, has been taking uh, pot shots on his stream, public, live, at me, for quite a while. Which is really bothersome for someone that uh, you considered a friend and who constantly referred to you as a friend. Um, and uh, I wanted to talk about all this today and kind of have an opportunity to say my piece on it all. Um, I don't really... Uh, have any interest in a prolonged or extended conflict uh, with Xander Hall. And uh, I don't really have a, a desire to do like an expose or anything on Xander Hall. However, I am going to say my part of the story because he has a lot of things that he's been spitting out into the world which has become very characteristic for him. I am somebody who, uh, I, I my career has only been on the internet for the last four and a half years, and I'm 33, okay? So, uh, almost 34. So, uh, for most of my life, I uh, lived my life socially, career, everything like that, offline. Um, obviously, I've been on the internet for a really long time, but that was not the primary method of socialization for me for most of my life. Um, that is not true for everyone, um, and obviously, a lot of social norms have changed as far as how people socialize on the internet. And this is not to like do some boomer invocation. In fact, quite the opposite. Um, uh, however, it is to point out the fact that there is a perception in the world right now that online uh, connections do not matter at all. That things that happen on the internet don't matter at all. And, uh, there's a co there's a frequent thing that happens when when people have a conflict with somebody who they're connected to through the internet um that you know it's like ah whatever the internet doesn't matter all this is fucking fake and stupid anyway and of course that's nonsense what we do on the internet is uh, uh obviously not one to one what we do in the real world um, but it is also, it is a part of it. The things that we do online impact our lives in all kinds of different ways. Sometimes they're hard to articulate how it does, but we're putting ourselves out there. There are real people behind all these screens. Um, and on top of that, in this particular situation, um, the friendship that I had with Xander Hall was not one uh, that was just online. I did indeed connect with Zan in the first place through the internet. I connected with Zan through uh, mutual appreciation of left-leaning politics, through uh, mutual appreciation of debate spheres, through uh, mutual connections in the space that I ended up making, friends and fr of friends and whatnot. Um, we, would, we would game together. We would do all kinds of different little social events. And, uh, and as that continued, uh, we actually became uh, friends. And on top of that, uh, we became friends that uh, were offline as well. Um, 
my and and this is something by the way that you can verify if you go and watch uh zan's channel as well because for a long time zan would constantly refer to the fact in fact he would refer to it quite a lot and in fact recently uh he would refer to it even as like a weird invocation in his attacks on other people online um the point is uh my connection with Xander Hall is not just some, uh, you know, I am familiar with what he does in a space and I perceive him as like a, a political ally. Uh, we went and did lots of things together. We hung out in person. I blogged, vlogged, I guess. A blog is like written, but vlogged. You can go on my shorts channel and you can see the vlog of us traveling together from Southern California all the way up to the Pacific Northwest. Uh, when I went down personally myself and drove him from his old home to his new home and helped him move his stuff in, okay? So like, this is not some like, you know, frivolous nonsense, you know, uh, Twitter mutual situation, okay? Just keep that in mind when I'm talking about all this. What I'm trying to say is, me and other people have been there for Zan in a very real way. And uh, we're going to get into everything that happened, all the, the, the f internet drama parts. But I wanted to make sure that people understood that this is not your, uh, this is not your, oh, they tweeted something I didn't like situation. This is a situation where a bunch of stuff, a, a real friendship existed. A bunch of stuff went down in private, and then a bunch of stuff went down in public. And I'm going to talk about all of that, like, when we go through here. But first, uh, in the name of fairness, I want to react to some of the stuff that Xander Hall has been saying about me lately. And um, I now, of course, know I have, uh, I have been sent a number of clips over the course of months of him taking shots at me going so far as to um, as to try and impugn my moral character and my honesty, which doesn't seem like a type of thing that you do to a friend, you know, trying to, uh, and you know what, uh, why don't we even just, why don't we even just watch it? You know, why don't we just watch him do that? I'll show you guys what I'm talking about, the type of shit that really pisses me off. And I said this before, I'm gonna say it again because obviously this is a separate video. Some people are not gonna go watch my first stream on this, though I'm sure you'll enjoy it. The Birthday Boy Xander Hall video is very funny and very entertaining. Yeah, I just, let's just, let's just take a look at this real quick. Let's watch this together real quick. I'll get into everything in due time. And I apologize if this isn't like structured in the way that I uh, do a drama mama stream or whatever because that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm not trying to do a drama mama thing I'm trying to tell you my side of things with as much, uh, you know, with as much uh, Demonstration as I can uh, You know, but I'm not interested in doing some kind of Xander Hall takedown I just want you to understand where I'm coming from. Okay Let's watch this real quick. All right. Travis T says, genuinely, Demon Mama, your policy of not operating on vibes have made you one of the only people I feel would be a reasonably trustworthy source to talk about. Oh, I should give you the date of this before we go any further, real quick. This is Xander Hall reacting to my Keffel's stream back in May, okay? May of 20, uh, of 2024, May 23rd of 2024, okay? So just so that we're clear. Um, now... You may recall that Zan had a huge blowout fight with Keffels back earlier this year, or very early this year. I think it was around December, January area, somewhere in that ballpark. I can't remember if it was at the very end of December or the beginning of January, but it's very, very close to the, uh, around the time of the new year. And uh, I, I was invoked in that, conflict in a way that I did not want to be. And I made it very clear that I did not want to be invoked, and yet I was repeatedly invoked. I deliberately stayed out of that conflict because it had nothing to do with me. It was not my fight. I didn't want it. I didn't want to be caught in two idiots fighting, basically. Um, and uh, uh, 
but I was literally getting tagged in on it. Like I was getting like tagged in like I was like a summon in a in a Final Fantasy game. Like come fight for me or whatever. And I'm like Dude, I'm not into that. And I'm gonna talk about that whole situation a little more when we get into the, in, get deeper into this. Um, but also, there was some stuff that happened that further made me not want to be involved. Which we're gonna go, we're gonna go through all that. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, you do have a two minute cutscene. <laughs> Thank you. I do. I have a. I have a. When you summon me, you gotta watch all. You gotta watch all 120 seconds of my epic intro music bursting up with the flames. You know that kind of thing. The damage is great, but no skips. All right. Let's watch this. Let's watch this. This is from back in uh, in May. In May, the situation. Too many people go off on. Yeah, it's just, I, I gotta say, like, while Demon Mama didn't really do anything wrong in all of this, and even gave me, I would say, the most salient and um, best advice that I got in all of it, and was one of the few people that um, really did, like, contact me and talk to me and, and, like, support me during all of that and try to, like, help me keep my head straight when I was, like, really looking at the possibility of losing my dream career with how much uh, sub loss I was getting, I, um... What he's referring to here is when he decided to pick a fight of his own volition. He decided to pick a fight with his friend, former friend, Keffels. And when he decided to pick that fight, he did it by, out of the blue, tweeting, Keffels is a fucking snake in the grass on Twitter, which made a lot of people mad and led to a stupid argument. And then when people pointed out that he picked a fight, and he started getting mad when people were pushing back on him, then he threw a giant fit about it. And so yeah, he had a bunch of sub loss because he acted like an asshole. Now he wasn't even 100% wrong about everything that he said. And I told him that. Um, but what he's referring to is, um, is this conflict. And, uh, and of course, you know, he leaves it vague. You know, he doesn't, he doesn't give off the idea that he started a fight and that everybody told him, uh, bro, was that the way to go around things? Is that the way you wanted to go about things? You know? And then when he said, yeah, that's the way I want to go about things, and other people said, well, we don't want to be involved in that kind of a conflict, dude. Um, he got all pissed about it. We're gonna, I'm gonna go in depth as he says a little more, because there's some little bit of fact checking that we gotta do here from my perspective. But let's keep watching for just a minute. I, like, I told her a fair amount of these bombshells that came out over the last few days that she's- No, you motherfucking didn't. You motherfucking bitch. It's kinda... I get the vibe sorta low-key pretending have just became, like, news to her. But it's not news to her. She's known of at least a good amount of this stuff. I don't know if she was aware of the GoFundMe scamming. The GoFundMe scamming stuff I was aware of shortly before burning the bridge with her well okay my understanding was that like there was there was some thought that that keffels was doing a scam with the gofundme i had become aware that there was a suspicion of that among her own workers and at that point i was like oh now you'll notice here that he keeps saying i did this i found this out i did this i did this i did this he didn't do shit you see what happened was someone who was actually on Keffel's team had this information and shared it with certain people looking for advice on how to move forward. Some of that information I was privy to from that person, not from Xander Hall. Some of that information Zan was privy to, not from Xander Hall, but from that person. Now he likes to say, oh, I gave you that information. You did not. We did not talk about this shit. You didn't give me anything. This is him trying to take ownership over someone else's work and use it to make it, to just make it seem like, oh, 
yeah, Demon Mama, you know, she just was holding out. And we'll see how far this goes, okay? Because spoiler alert, I've seen this full clip. And there's going to be more to talk about. What? You got to keep me updated on this. You tell me what you what you find out. Because, like, this could be huge. I, like, what the fuck? And then, like, maybe a week later, maybe less, possibly less than a week later, I get sent the clip of Keffels defending Shoe on Head. And I'm just like... Did you guys wonder why I was so unwilling to, like, work it out and become friends with her, by the way? Like, why is Zan so unwilling to work it out and become friends with her? Oh, man, I might, I might have become aware of some, like, concerns and rumors behind the scenes that made me a little shifty about her, you know? Just a little shifty. I made popcorn just the- yeah, listen, this is the most, like, pop- Now, you'll notice what he's trying to imply here is that he is an upstanding and moral person for having a personal shit-flinging fest with Keffels, um, but that I am not an upstanding and moral person because he, quote-unquote, gave me information, which he didn't do. That's a lie. That's just a flat-out lie. And I didn't talk about it immediately. Now, the funny thing is that there's another part of this, which is that the sources of that information were not safe. Okay, the sources of the information that he's talking about, by the way, which is not the whole picture that I had going into my stream. When I went into my stream, that was after other information that I did not have at that time went public. You'll notice that post uh, receiving information about Keffels, I stopped collaborating with Keffels. And I said, I don't want anything to do with your drama. And the reason for that is because of the same reason that, that that Xander Hall here is talking about, which is that, of course, I had been made privy of certain information and no longer wanted to contribute to that, but I also didn't want to burn sources who, were, who had sensitive information and who had come to me in trust. There's this thing that you have to do, okay? Which is that you have to weigh a, the, you have to weigh the safety of people in multiple ways when you're being given information on a public level, okay? Uh, Last I checked, uh, uh, Keffels is not in possession of thermonuclear arms, okay? Um, and certain information was not enough to complete a full story. There were people who had not come forward in December who, ha who had come forward by the time I made my video. And I don't know if you know this about me. I know Xanderhal knows this about me. I know you guys know this about me. But I don't like to go off fucking half-cocked, Okay? When I want to take a story, if I'm going to put my face and my reputation to a story that I'm going to cover and talk about, to a thing that I'm going to cover and talk about, I like to do a good job with it. I like to make sure that I can feel proud of that thing, and if I don't, then I fix it. Simple as, okay? But let's keep hearing what Zan has to say about this situation. Popcorn, heat it up, shit ever. Now, Demon Mama was like, um very helpful in that time, but I do feel she's sort of misrepresenting, like, whether she, like, how long she's known about this stuff, you know, just a little bit, which I get, because I, I, it's a little bit of- Depends on what you're talking about, you're being very vague. I feel like I was very straightforward about what information I knew, in fact, I openly talked about I, in my video, I openly talk about the fact that there was information that I knew that made me cautious and uh, and upset about Keffels that I was asked not to go public with because it would put the person who revealed that information in danger. ...of a complex situation, but it wouldn't be so complex if... And also, I want to just, again, one more time, I just want to bring up the point that everything that he's trying to say against me is also an indictment against him. Because he, and, and even worse so, if he thinks it's an indictment that I decided to protect people who gave me information and act accordingly to their wishes in the first place, and also to make sure that I had the full story before I blew shit up, then what does it say about him that he also waited and then decided to burn his sources and blow up a story half-cocked in order to get a personal win in because he was insulted that Keffel said that she was uh, gonna do a stream with Shoe on Head? What does that say about fucking Xander Hall? Again, he never thinks. That's what it says. And you're gonna see that that's a recurring event throughout this entire bullshit.
frankly, if everybody got behind me and, and, like, got behind me dropping the nuke months ago. Like, if everybody got behind me dropping the nuke months ago and was just like, yep, do and it, And here Zan. is the... Oh, my God. He made it. Just listen to that again real quick. Listen to that again, okay? Knowing about this stuff, you know, just a little bit, which I get, because I, I, it's a little bit of a complex situation, but it wouldn't be so complex. Real quick, though, Colonel Fraser Holzer said, yet you both kept promoting Keffels despite knowing about the Go GoFundMe thing for months. That is not true. When I learned about the GoFundMe information, there was no point at which I promoted Keffels. In fact, there had been a, it had been, it, the time that I had never promoted Keffels GoFundMe after the fucking, like, first few months of it. And by the way, just so you know, you can't pull a moral high horse. I donated to Keffel's GoFundMe. I donated fucking $200 to Keffel's GoFundMe. I got fucking ripped too. So you can just screw right off with that bullshit. Sit down and fucking listen to the stream or get the fuck out. Easy. Let's continue. Told you it was going to be a spicy one. Let's go. If, frankly, if everybody got behind me and, and like got Sorry. behind me dropping the I want to make sure that you guys listen to exactly what he's going to say here. Because it really gives away the game at what he's trying to pull. Just listen closely. I, it's a little bit of a complex situation, but it wouldn't be so complex if, frankly, if everybody got behind me and, and like got behind me dropping the nuke months ago. Like if everybody got behind me dropping the nuke months ago and was just like, yep, do it, Zan. We're, we're, we're dropping it. Everyone needs to know this, drop it now. Uh, like, if that had happened, it wouldn't have been so complicated, but because there was like, ah, you shouldn't drop the, it's, you're just gonna get yourself more buried in drama, you're just gonna make it worse for yourself, you really need to take a break from the internet and calm down, you really need to cool off, and, and I did, and that was probably good for me, but that did complicate things a lot, because... What a weaselly way of talking about all this! What a weaselly way! Now, here's where you're gonna get, you, now here's where we get to drop a little bit of a nuke. Okay, here's where we get to talk about a little bit of context, okay? When he refers to a nuke, what he's talking about is something that he started fucking moronically bloviating about on stream back in December, okay? Back when this conflict was still happening, he started going on stream because he cannot stop himself from constantly being live, okay? He, it, it, he was he went on stream and he's like I've got secret knowledge I have a nuke that's gonna take Keffels down even though he had explicitly not received permission to talk about it in that way at all and in fact it's a remarkably immature way of talking about things because if what that nuke that he's referring to is information that had been trusted to him to not be revealed publicly until the case was made Okay, we're talking information from multiple people, some of which he had never even done the work to actually talk to himself. Okay, some of the work, some of people who he didn't even bother to talk to through an intermediary. Okay, we're talking Xander Hall got screenshots and bullshit. You guys remember, do you remember when he retweeted, um, when he retweeted some random Twitter user making claims about, um, Keffels's uh, experience with sexual assault and rape. Do you remember when he just off the, off the fucking dick retweeted that shit? And then two minutes later, he had to quietly delete it and pretend like it never happened. That's one of the reasons why he lost a ton of subs because he went off, not even half cocked. He went off one tenth cocked. Okay. That was the most fucking premature bullshit that anyone's ever seen. It was blatant to everyone that he was grabbing at anything. Okay. And let me tell you, you think that was bad? It was 10 times worse in private, okay? And this is what I can speak to. It was insane in private. This motherfucker got himself in a fight with Keffels. He's even misrepresenting the timeline, okay? Because he didn't give a fucking shit about a nuke until he started getting into a fight with Keffels. And you want to know what's even worse? You want to know what's even fucking crazier? Uh, that not only did he not care uh, about any of it, uh, until he got into a fight with Keffels, but he started screaming at, explicitly threatening, insulting, having a complete and utter meltdown on other people who had the information. And he said, 
and I'm not even joking with you, he was he was den like digging into these people, screaming at them, being like, you're gonna fucking ruin me! I'm gonna lose my fucking channel! Okay? He was freaking the fuck out, blaming people who were saying, I have this information. I don't want to. I don't want this to go bad. I don't. Ha I don't have a platform to speak for myself. And he was fucking screaming at them, saying they were ruining his life because they wouldn't let him take that information and run with it. I saw that, and in fact, it's funny. You want to know how you know this is the truth? You notice that just a couple seconds ago, I'm just gonna go back here. Just a couple seconds, right here. Let's see, right about here. Willing to like work it out and become. Here we go. Did you guys wonder why I was so unwilling to like work it out and become oh, man, I might I might have become aware of some like concerns and rumors behind this just the yeah listen this is the Hold most on. like just give popcorn me a second here. heated up shit ever. Now Demon Mama was like um very helpful in that time, but I do feel she's sort of time for a little bit of a truth bomb. When he says Demon Mama was very helpful in that time, what he's referring to was a time when he was having a complete and utter meltdown on his on his literal best friend, okay? On uh, Cherry and on White Nervosa, okay? White Nervosa, in fact, pub publicly talked about this. Uh, some of you may have seen it. I don't know if the tweets are still up because I think that White Nervosa deletes, deleted some of the tweets after the fact, but White Nervosa publicly talked about this. He was having a complete and utter meltdown, and I was asked to please try and talk some tense into Xander Hall. And so I did. And what I told him was very simple, okay? I said, bro, you are so far out of line right now. I don't know how to communicate to it. I don't think that you're a bad guy. I literally said, I don't think you're a bad person, but you are really digging in on people who are close to you, people who are looking out for you, and you are completely disrespecting their safety, their needs, because you got yourself into a fight with Keffels. That's what I said to him. And it's really funny. Now, this is like six months later, you know? He's, he's simultaneously trying to play nice while taking a shot at me, trying to imply that I'm a dishonest person, trying to imply that I was hiding things, which I wasn't. I'm very forward about the things that I do. I'm just not going to hurt someone who explicitly says, please don't give this information away willy-nilly, okay? At that time, um, his response to that, his response to that, was to tell other people that he was gonna burn me. Not kidding you. I got a warning from a friend, from a mutual friend who said, Zan is talking about how he's gonna burn you now because of what you said. All I said was, bro, you gotta calm down, man. You're hurting yourself. And you guys do not understand how bad it went, okay? I, I need you to understand. And this is, like I said, I'm saying my piece, okay? When I'm talking about how bad it got, I'm talking, he was, he was t going bananas, okay? I'm talking, he was going so bananas that Doe and I went and did a wellness check on him twice. Okay, he was going fucking nuts, all right? Actually out of his mind. And his response was to start telling people he was gonna burn me. Now, if you're wondering, Zan mentioned, hey, you know, uh, nobody's been talking to me for a couple months. There's your answer, okay? The reason why nobody's been talking to Zan for a couple months is because he fucking flipped out on everybody in December. He was fuck you sh The absolute abuse that he laid out on Cherry, Cherry, by the way, who carried his channel for three years, the absolute best friend you can, you can imagine. Now, you all, I understand that Cherry has had some conflicts with other people. I understand that some people don't like this, that, and the other thing about Cherry, but I need you to understand, when it comes to Cherry and Xander Hall's relationship, I have literally never in my life seen a coworker who is so devoted to what Zan's project was. Cherry fucking carried Zan's channel. Cherry was doing everything. And his response was to freak out, belittle, berate, swear at, scream at, threaten. And he did this to other people as well. He did this to White Nervosa as well. And then when I stepped in, when I was asked to step in, because I was privy to these conversations, but I didn't have much to say at that point, they asked me, hey, can you... Can you say something to Zan? And I said, yeah, I'll say something to Zan. And what I told him was the God's honest truth. I said, man, you are destroying yourself right now. You are freaking out 
you are clearly not thinking straight about all of this and you're damaging your relationships with people who actually care about you, people who are looking out with you. His response was to start telling people he was gonna burn me. And so my response was to say, all right then, I'm fucking done. I'm out. All right? I said, that's it. I'm not gonna, after it all settled, I said, I'm staying out of the Keffel Zan drama. I don't want anything to do with the Keffel Zan drama. I don't want any of their stupid fight. I don't want anything to do with it. What I wanna care about is Cherry, who is my friend and a former member of my team. I, I care about White Nervosa, who is a friend and somebody who has provided a, an incredible service to, to my channel. Without this channel, I without White Nervosa's work, and White Leaf's entire work, the whole team at White Leaf, uh, I would not uh, be able to be where I am right now. I wanted to make sure that they were being treated fairly and kindly, and they were not being treated fairly and kindly. So I said, I'm out, I'm done. It was extremely hurtful for me, by the way, just a reminder that this is somebody who I personally flew my own ass down to his place in Southern California I rented a car and I personally drove the thousands of miles. He can't drive. I drove the thousands of miles necessary to get Zan from Southern California up to the Pacific Northwest. When he was sick, me and Doe would go and check on him. When, uh, when he needed food, we fucking stocked him up on food, okay? This was somebody who was a friend. We treated as a friend. And when I heard him say that because I slightly disagreed with him, um, that he was gonna burn me, I said, I'm not doing this anymore. I'm out. I'm fucking out, okay? I'm out of that shit. I'm done. I don't want anything. And you know what? I didn't burn him publicly because that's not how I do things, okay? It's been, what, seven months? Almost, uh, almost eight months now? And I didn't fucking do anything. In fact, I didn't even announce our cancellation of friendship. I didn't even get mad at him. I didn't yell at him. I told him how I felt in the moment. I heard how he responded to it. And I said, all right, our paths are diverging. I took the path of peace. I took the path of non-drama. And I said, you know what? I got no hate for Zan overall. I just really don't like being treated this way. That's not how you treat a friend. That's disrespectful. It felt like I had been thrown in the trash. And I kept up with that. Even while he was taking shots at me, like you've seen right here, this was back in May, him trying to imply that I'm dishonest in some way, that I should have, and as you saw in this very clip, he just wanted everybody to get behind him. Six, well, that's at in May, so five months later, he's still on the same path. At the time, he was insisting that everyone be on board 100% or they were full of shit and snakes. You don't understand. It was 100 or nothing for him. You were either with him or against him. If you said, bro, you don't have the right to take this information and blow it up to the public. You haven't even gotten the permission from certain people who are aware of this information to blow it up to the public, okay? Cherry, likewise. I've, I've always been, it's always been a wonder to be your friend and to work with you. Just know that. He's been taking pot shots and I finally had enough of it when it came to this Biden shit. And you wanna know the level of restraint that I had with regard to this? I didn't even fucking blow up on him. In my birthday boy video, I matched his tone, okay? I roasted him a little bit. He was blowing up on, 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 on Ian uh, Vosh. He was blowing up on Vosh. He was blowing up, he was, uh, previously he'd been shit talking me. He was saying all these people are, are sounding like right wingers. They all just want Trump to win. He's comparing people to Tim Pool. He's comparing people left and right. And what I do, I just fucking ribbed him a little bit and he lost his fucking shit. We're gonna get into him losing his shit about it. And right now in this very moment, as of yesterday, this guy is trying to act like he didn't do anything wrong. Like he's just a little birthday boy. He didn't do anything. Oh, everybody always picks a fight with me. Bro, you picked the fucking fight. You've been picking the fight. You've been constantly picking the fight. You cannot, you cannot even see the good that you have in your life, okay? I need you all to understand 
the way that he treated Cherry was beyond unacceptable. Like, it was so far beyond unacceptable. Um, I believe that it was abusive. That is my belief, okay? And I told him as such back in December, which led to him saying he was going to fucking burn me. Wendell B says, I had no clue about the cherry stuff. Jesus fucking Christ. Nobody did because it happened in private. And the only reason I'm talking about it now is because I've received permission to do so. And because this shit. Because now he's trying to fucking spin off and, and say this, that, and the other thing about people. And because he went off on a fucking tear, uh, lying about what I said now, blocking me and saying all this bullshit. Which we'll get to that. I knew he fired Cherry. Yeah. Actually, I, th I don't remember if he fired Cherry. Or I believe Cherry actually resigned. Um, I shouldn't say he fired Cherry because he didn't. He actually, he knew he needed Cherry. He knew his channel was, that Cherry was essential to the success of his channel. And he just didn't care because he was in such a blind rage. You notice how in here, in, even in this section that we just reacted to, he was talking about how my channel was almost over. His channel was nowhere near over. He was taking a hit for engaging in a moronic drama in a very moronic way. That's what he took a hit for. And instead of just taking an L and being like, ah, oh, man, I really goofed that up. Something that everybody has done, okay? He uh, doubled down. He doubled down and doubled down, and he drove away the people closest to him. And I mean that. He really did. Let's keep going. Let's, let's, let's see some of the other stuff we got here, okay? Let's talk about, let's talk about what, uh, what started me wanting to talk about this, what really pissed me off, okay? Let's, let's watch a little clip, okay? <clears throat> Dan doesn't have anything against you. She was more confused than anything else. I mean, she compared me to Epstein, dog. Like, uh, you, you can you can say that. You, you can try to, like, say, oh, but Zan, but Zan, you, you should, like, grovel and try to get the bridge rebuilt. But, like, she compared me to Epstein. Grovel. You should have to grovel. The immaturity. This is the exact... This is the exact behavior that he displayed back in December. The idea that having a normal human conversation with somebody else, the idea that somebody else going, dude, what the fuck is your problem? What you said really bothered me is fucking groveling. He cannot even imagine ever admitting doing even the smallest thing wrong. He cannot even imagine the possibility that maybe he's overreacting to a joke after he was throwing jokes all over the place. After he wasn't even joking, he was just insulting other people. But also, let's see. Let's see with our own eyes if I did that. Let's see. Did I, did Demon Mama compare him to Epstein? Let's find out. It's very clear that like, there's no, uh, there's no mending that. Mind you, I didn't burn these bridges. I, I. Oh, oh yeah? Burned the Keffel's bridge. I nuked, I orbital striked the Keffel's Bridge, and never have I been proven more correct after getting so much shit than Orbital striking the Keffel's Bridge. Good God. <clears throat> Alright, now let's see the actual clip that he's referring to. This is a guy... This is a Here's guy my clip. This is a clip from my stream, just so we're clear. Who's talking about this war, this situation, he's looking over documents, signing things, talking to world leaders, and the guy mixed up two names in a relevant conflict. There are two guys fighting, Zelensky and Putin, and he mixed up their names. You know, whenever I was talking about- You know, the thing that Jeffrey Epstein doesn't recognize that he's doing here, as, as Epstein is ranting and raving on his stream, the thing he doesn't realize is that- Oh, oh, sorry, did I say Jeffrey Epstein? I meant Xander Hall. Ha 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 sorry. Woo! Good the, thing I corrected myself immediately. This is a guy- I think anyone with like a working brain should be able to tell exactly what the joke is. And the crazy thing is, if you watch the rest of that section, if you even dial it out 10 seconds before and after, the joke becomes even more clear because I go out of my way to explain the joke. Actually crazy. And here's the thing. People say he doesn't have a working brain, but I know he's not that stupid. I know he's not that stupid. In fact, I messaged him that I knew he wasn't that stupid, and his response was, Fuck you, you're the actual drama farmer. I'm blocking you. I don't need to deal with your bullshit. When I said, Bro, 
This is some fucking bullshit. I know you're not that stupid to try and claim that, but it gets worse. Because he didn't just say, he didn't just lie about what I actually said. He lied a lot about what I actually said. So you know what? Let's watch. I've got a nice little edit here. You see, he was talking about me at at least three different points of his stream yesterday. And, uh, and someone was kind enough to edit all those points together so we can watch them and hear for ourselves what he has to say. So let's do it. Let's listen to it. Let's listen to what he has to say. Demon Mama compared Zan at, to Epstein as a joke um, because he was defending Biden. Yeah, um, both Demon- Is that what I did? Did I compare him to Jeffrey Epstein? Is that what I did? Because um, that's not what I did. That's not even remotely close to what I did. Not even a little bit. In fact, it's so far from what I did that you would have to, you, you cannot understand it as a joke if you think that's what was going on. So he's giving away his hand here. But let's continue. Let's continue. Him and Mama and Vosh burned the bridge with me. Like, they, they're the ones who burned the bridge, to be very clear. Um, over, like, the very slightest criticism. Uh, like, and they all came out with, like, very rude insults like they immediately jumped to like nuclear insults out of nowhere dude you opened this by doing like six different segments on both me and vosh talking about how we support trump i don't know if you know this zan maybe it's a little hard uh to get through your fucking white bl white boy straight head uh fucking cis het floridian brain but i have a lot to lose if donald trump becomes president there's a fucking good chance that Donald Trump beca becomes president because of the candidate that you were doing propaganda for this entire time. Saying that I'm a Trump supporter, saying that I want Trump, or even that I'll deserve Trump, which you said in a previous clip. Remember when he said a small part of him wants to see Trump win just so he can see other people, like myself, being referred to, uh, eat shit? Remember that? Anyway, let's continue. And uh, I've always been of the belief that, like, if you have a relationship of some kind with someone and something comes up and they they like immediately nuke it and say like the worst shit about you there was never anything really there in the first place and i apply this across the board right like um like like obviously there was nothing really there with me and keffel's it's not negative self-awareness. That's the thing you need to understand. This is what we call projection. This is textbook projection. It's not negative self-awareness. He just is projecting his own behaviors on other people. And what it, what, it re, what, it, what it reveals is that there was never anything there to begin with. And what's hurtful for me, of course, is the fact that I genuinely believed in him. The fact that I genuinely did have a friendship with him. And I do believe, by the way, still to this day, that there was a different path for him. I don't know if there is at this point. I think that right now he's barreling into becoming the second DSP. A guy who literally cannot stop putting everything that he puts into his mind. Everything that comes into his mouth needs to go onto stream immediately. A guy who literally only reacts to his commenters and his closest simps and gets mad about everything else. That's where I think his path is leading right now. But for a long time, I did believe and I do believe that there was an alternate path of behavior for him but it just goes to show you the fact that he was willing to burn me over the slightest pushback ever back in december when it actually mattered when he was having a full ass mental breakdown and freaking out on everyone that he knows ber berating everyone that he knows having a fucking christian bale ass meltdown on people who worked for him and loved his shit and loved him this friendship um, on my end, because like from the beginning, I, I just felt like things were off and over time as I learned more like rumors and over time it started to be things, uh, I, I just, I had a very, there's a reason that bridge got nuked by me so easily and so quick. Um, but yeah. Oh Vosh just straight God. calling you a drama hound yeah, and part of Blue Maga was crazy. Yeah, Demon Mama comparing me to Epstein for some reason, I don't know what the deal is there, but yeah didn't do that just explicit explicitly lying again you'll notice he's gonna keep uh he's gonna keep uh lying about this who's dsp really do people not know who dsp is dsp is like one of the most infamous lol cows of all time he's a guy who um basically he he like he says anything that comes to his mind on stream like constantly he can never stop filming himself doing things literally to the point that he accidentally filmed himself jerking off um, 
the like like he 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 would he would just like blast his own like unthinking thoughts into the world these like thoughtless behaviors constantly being broadcasted and then he could never turn the camera off the dude could never log off he's incapable of logging off and also can constantly convinced that he is 100% in the right incapable of ever admitting he did anything wrong everything is always something else's fault he he got like kind of infamous for constantly posting videos of himself playing video games and he was very bad at video games but not just was he bad at video games he would get angry and he would blame the game always he's like famous for blaming the game but yeah anyway uh back to dsp2 oh uh, man i'm sorry zan oh no it's all good trust me i i have not spoken to these people since the kethel's drama happened to be clear it's been like seven months since i spoke to demon mama or vosh so you want to now, you all will recall that we already know that. I already talked about this. You want to know why that happened? You want to know why? The last thing that he sent to our group chat, uh, the group chat that I've been in with, you know, with Vosh and a bunch of other people, you know, our friendship group chat that we go plan events and do things to, the last thing he sent to that group chat was him fucking awkwardly trying to get uh, everybody... He, he, tr he tried to dump about fucking Keffels and tried to get people involved in his drama with Keffels. He was just, like, mopily posting. I'm trying to remember the exact character of it. It was like, he was like, yeah, well, you know, things aren't going so good because, you know, I'm just fighting Keffels out here. Uh, you know, really sucks. She's a real piece of shit, you know, guys. And everyone was like, bro, like, half of the people in this group chat aren't, aren't content creators. And they're just friends, partners, friends of friends that we go do stuff with. So between him uh, making it awkward in the group chat and blowing up on all of the people closest to him, literally screaming at them and being a weirdo, freaking out, having a, a meltdown where he berates the people closest to him. Yeah, people don't talk to you anymore. You're lucky that people didn't talk to you. And guess what? We told you. We told you what our problem was and you fucking threatened half of us. You literally threatened half of your friends because you were having a piss fit. Let's continue. Let's continue, shall we? Oh, and none of, neither of them reached out to talk to me after it came out that Kethels was a scammer and like all the other shit that came out. Yeah, because you didn't have anything to do with that. In fact, you threatened being able to get the actual story out on that. You threatened that. You made it less likely to happen. And you literally threatened the people involved who had the information that was necessary to go forward. You put sources in danger. And we aren't even fucking journalists, dude. These were people that you have connections to and you put them in danger because you were freaking out and you were convinced that your stupid fight with Keffels was the end of the world. And that if we didn't do exactly what you wanted, your channel was over. Well, guess what, buddy? with like the um the contaminated hrt vials that uh were sent out by the uh the person that she was promoting um there were there were trans dudes the fuck the fuck is he even talking about having to repeatedly send back vials of testosterone because they had hair contamination in them i don't know if you guys know but anything injected into you that has a contamination in it that's like really fucking bad that's seriously dangerous to uh to young trans people um, but even though that all came out and like, uh, he's talking about the DIY HRT thing. Hey bro, first of all, you better be fucking specific about what you're saying. I don't want to, I'm not going to sit here and get into the depths of DIY HRT, but, uh, just vaguely saying that DIY HRT had all these dangers without actually pointing out who it is. You're literally doing more harm. If there was a, a HRT manufacturer that was sending out tainted vials you need to name that that manufacturer and you need to give that information you notice how everything that he does is just a pawn in a fucking stupid drama game that doesn't fucking even affect him in the end he doesn't need hrt he doesn't need any of this shit this is just a pride thing for him this is for his stupid fucking white boy floridian ego it's a fucking game for this bitch uh careful sorry sorry my apologies for the unwarranted sexism towards a cis white man. I'm sure he's gonna try and cancel me over it. Let's go. Weaponized the shit out of Vosh and Demon Mama during that drama, like, against me. Uh, like, Demon Mama reached out during the drama and was, like, semi-defensive of Keffels. Um, but in, like, a very didn't-want-to-take-sides kind of way. 
And then Vosh just, like, didn't say anything, <laughs> you know? Like, he was just completely not involved. So I didn't really fault him, but at the same time, it was like... You know, there might have been a number of reasons why Vosh didn't want to get involved. And one of the big reasons, and I don't know this for sure, I don't have any secret knowledge on this, but, you know, maybe one of the people uh, who was made privy to information threatening to freak out and blow the entire thing open and ruin it for any semblance of truth-telling, that might be a reason that someone doesn't want to get involved. I got fucking involved early, and I had no choice but to deal with his fucking bullshit. Let's, con let's continue. I haven't spoken to him or Demon Mama in a while. Yeah, hey, guess what, dude? You know your fingers work. Or at least I assume they do. Maybe, I don't know, maybe the vape is taking away the use of his fingers. Maybe he doesn't remember how to type. Maybe Xan has always been illiterate and he doesn't remember how to DM. He could have fucking DM'd any of us at any point along this entire time, but instead, he's sitting here playing fucking birthday boy again. Ooh, I'm a Webble one Quabwin. Oh, don't hit me. Even though I attacked you first, even though I started swinging mud at you, don't get mad at me. This is why I'm fucking pissed off. This is why we're here right now. This is why I'm so fucking pissed about this, okay? Because I didn't fucking start shit with him. All of the shit that he did happened. It happened in private. It was handled in private, okay? To the best of my ability. And here he is fucking taking advantage of that fact. Once again, completely incapable of perceiving the kindness that others do to him, completely incapable of perceiving when other people are doing him a favor. And I'm fucking tired of it. I'm fucking tired of pretending like this is normal. I'm tired of people playing off like this is just normal behavior for, for, for what, this is how it is with friends. No, it isn't. This isn't how it is with friends. This isn't how it is with colleagues. This isn't how it is. This is fucking Xanass behavior. This is his shit. This is fucking his problem. And I'm tired of fucking pretending that it's not. <clears throat> Dan doesn't have anything against you. She was more confused than anything else. I mean, she compared me to Epstein, dog. Like, uh, you, you can There's you can that say that. You, you can Liar. try to, like, say, Oh, but Zan, but Zan, you, you should, like, grovel and try to get the bridge rebuilt. But, like, she compared liar. me to Epstein. It's very clear fucking that, like... Fucking liar. There's no, uh... There's no mending that. Mind you, I didn't burn these bridges. I, I burned the Keffel's Bridge. I nuked. I orbital striked the Keffel's Bridge. And I, never have I been proven more correct after getting so much shit than orbital striking the Keffel's Bridge. Good God. Outside of that, though, um... Killjoy40k says, Okay, Demon Mama, just to get this straight, Xan wanted to break the story and it blew up in his face, and then from that point forward, he would only handle it on stream like he would just sling shit and demand you hash it out on stream. More or less, that's a simplification, but yes, Zan literally wanted to, Zan wanted to jump and completely blow open everything that people were trying to collate and collect uh, with regards to the Keffel situation and more, by the way. This guy wanted to take literally every information that anyone had had. He took, that was given in confidence, where people said, do not move on this. I want to talk to people. I want to, to, to figure out what the hell's going on here? See if we can verify some of this stuff. See if we can cross-reference this stuff. And he saw an opportunity because he had started a fight recently with Keffels. You see, that's how it really went. He got started a fight with Keffels, then he saw an opportunity. And I'm not kidding you when I say he literally threatened the people who had the information. Okay? He made threats. He said, if you don't let me do this, you're killing my channel. It'll be your fault. I'll just delete my fucking channel if you don't let me go public with this nuke. Okay? Straight up. This is the shit that he was into. Okay? It's fucking shit, literal man-child behavior. This is why nobody fucking talked to him after December. And they didn't, it's not like they just stopped. It's not like anybody cold-shouldered him. It was like, bro, what the fuck, man? Whatever. And then everybody walked out of the room. And he's like, why is nobody in the room with me anymore after I just freaked out and berated three different people? I literally told him to his face that he was, he was freaking out and was way out of line. That's what he even referred to it. Yeah, you want to know what? Yeah, exactly. I can, Cherry. I'll show you. A, I was given a message that I have permission to share. Let me just show you this, okay? I'll show you. I'll go so far as to give you a little, a little chunk of everything. 
just so you can see with your own goddamn eyes, okay? Here, take a look at this. So here, back in December 20th, Mango of the fruit cast says, dude, and literally doesn't say anything. He just says, hey, dude, okay? And Xander Hall says, I assume Cherry is shit-talking me to everyone. I'm sure they're saying a lot of bad shit about me wanting to release all the info, but I'm, but I'm not going to, and they have put me in a position where I pretty much have to nuke all my online presence because I can't clear my name. Now, I have been told personally by Mango that the reason why he said dude was because he was going to send some funny memes to Zan. Mango did not know about any of this going on. Zan just flew off the handle. When I say, like, he was flipping his shit, as in it was, he was, like, all over the place. Like, it was like, dude, I don't even know. It was some, some... Like, oh yeah, here we go, what the fuck is this shit? Oh, you're fucking, you're gonna burn me too? I guess I might as well just destroy my channel! You have no idea how uh, much of the, like, like, lightning energy was going everywhere at this point, okay? It was deranged. And he was literally, I'm talking, I'm, I'm serious, you can see it in this fucking, te in this fucking text here. I pretty much have to nuke all my online presence because I can't clear my name. Except for uh, an obvious thing is that his name would not have been cleared by the nuke. The nuke didn't have anything to do with him. The nuke that he's referring to was information that other people wanted to have their stories told. It was about, it was in the public interest. It didn't have to do with clearing his name. But that's all, that's how he talked about it every single time. All right, let's continue. Let's hear the rest of what this asshole has to say. Uh, did Get this white boy in therapy? Yeah, good luck. Everyone's tried. Uh, yeah, like, I, I didn't burn the bridge with Vosh and Demon Mama. They burned it with me. There's nothing that I'm doing Did on I? my front. Did I burn the bridge? Did I burn the bridge? Can you point to the point in my birthday boy video where I burned the bridge with Xander Hall? In fact, where did I ever say, did I ever even say the word burn the bridge? That's Zan's. That's Zan's word. In fact, he said the bridge is burnt. He said in this video that we just watched, we just watched him say it. He just said, yeah, that, that's not going back. Uh, and then he lied and said that I compared him to Epstein, which I didn't do. To repair that. The ball's in their court. I have no idea what drama this is, TBH. Okay, so basically, over the course of weeks, that, or actually I should say over the course of the last year and a half, Demon Mama and Vosh have done an extremely, basically only content negatively covering Biden. And mind you, Biden was the nominee, right? Like, to, unless you could see into the future, uh, like, shitting on Biden, especially in the last... This is... Oh man, you know what? Just let's let's enjoy. Last it. year leading up to the election is just really dumb, and it's not just from a like, okay, the house is on fire, and you're complaining that the hot water heater isn't working, and and the response is, well, do, do you think just because the house is on fire, we shouldn't be concerned about the fact that there's no hot water? My answer is, of course, yes. Yes, who cares if there's no hot water if the house is on fire? The house fire being Trump. The this, of course, is um stupid in like nine different ways um because of course if you'll recall uh after vosh and paul's ego had a throwdown uh i covered that debate because it was extremely funny and we had a great time watching that debate it was extremely hilarious um but then i went on and had my own conversation with paul's ego and my position was uh, not how he is caricaturing me, not even remotely. In fact, I've been abundantly, phenomenally clear on my position. And also, I think this should all be kept in the context, okay? Which, you know, Zan doesn't like to be open about it, which, you know, might even be, uh, might even be a serious issue. But let's not forget that Xander Hall is paid money by a Biden-supporting political action group. Okay? Zan has paid a large monthly stipend to make content positive of Biden. And you know who's not? 
I'm paid by my viewers. This is a viewer supported show. That's who I'm paid by, my viewers, that's it. I'm not paid by, by dark money political groups. I'm not paid by uh, sponsors in the Democratic Party. But you know who is? The broken hot water heater being Biden and his flaws. Um, there's that, that conversation obviously is always the one that can be had, but more so in the respect that Biden has achieved seriously impressive things, and now those achievements carry over to Kamala. I feel like there's a lot less, um, like, there's a lot less hesitance to accept the things that Biden has achieved now that those accomplished. Vosh is working with PV. Yeah, that's great. And guess what? He's not, I don't, I don't even know, I don't think Vosh is paid by PV. In fact, I think it's like the other way around. I think he contributed money to PV. Zan is paid by PV. Is there a source on? He talks about it. He's talked about it. His, his videos are up on the PV channel. Schmitz can also be attributed to Kamala, who's this like- And that's the stupidest thing though, okay? Hold on, let me just be clear. The stupidest thing is, there are other people I don't know how many people actually work for PV anymore at this point. After Biden, I don't actually know what their operation is because they were like giga pro Biden. Um, but uh, the crazy thing is he didn't have to go this hard, but he chose to. They're pro Harris now. That's awesome. That's great to hear. I'm happy. Okay. But that doesn't change the fact. Okay. Just saying. What is PV? Progressive victory. They are a uh, democratic supporting political action group that has been uh, mired in controversy. I'll put it that way, okay? There's some good stuff that they've done. There's some good people there. There's some not so good people there. It's just how it is, okay? I like PV, but I'm not sure about being funded by them. Zan is paid by PV. That is a matter of fact, okay? Ask him. He can't, ask him. If you don't believe me, go ask him yourself. Ask him, are you paid by PV? He's legally required to tell you if he's paid by PV. Like golden child now out of nowhere, um, like it's it really does feel like yeah. This this is a controversy that already happened with Wick. Wick had to tell people publicly that he was paid by PV because he wasn't telling people clearly that his he was doing content that was sponsored by a political action group. No, sorry, I'm not mad at you. I'm just I'm addressing a lot of different uh, uh, things in chat that people are saying. If you don't believe me, ask him. That's all I'm saying. Like, like, what the fuck happened? Where was this? Where was this? In Can you please tell chat that Brianna Wu was kicked out? Yeah, Brianna Wu was kicked out. Yep. That did happen. Uh, Brianna Wu got fired. Enthusiasm for Kamala during the primaries, or, or even before, when she was the vice president. What, like, when? Since when did everyone like Kamala so much? Uh, I mean, I'm not complaining. It's just, okay, all right, sure, all right. When did everybody like fucking Biden so much? Last I checked, Biden is an insanely unpopular candidate among the general populace. Why are you misrepresenting, you, a so-called democracy lover, misrepresenting the feelings that the public has about, uh, has about Biden? Oh, wait, it's because you're a, B a Biden propagandist who's so extreme that you literally cannot perceive other people having critiques as anything other than being Trump support. Something that you just admitted to right now. Let's continue. I'm, I'm... I'm getting steamed. Let's um, continue. But the, there was a, a lack of credit being given to Biden for extremely huge accomplishments he was making and a hyper-focusing on... When it was the Gaza-Palestine, like, the Gaza-Israel stuff, it was respectable because, like, okay, that's a serious issue and we're calling out real problems. Oh, real quick, let's just look at this in chat. Galaxy Bomb in chat says, One of Demon Mama's latest videos was promoting Kamala while at the same time still shitting on Biden. Seriously, pluck those idiots. I want to understand the mind of that. I want to understand the mind of somebody like that. Keep in mind, this was recorded post Kamala taking the nomination, or the presumptive nomination. So this is somebody who is so ardently pro-Biden that even after Biden is... The argument by Zan and his community is that you have to... Um, that you needed to support Biden full-throated. You need to full-throat Joe Biden because he's the, pres the presumptive nominee, even if you don't like him. 
In fact, I think I want to quote Xander Hall's own words from a previous video. I believe the words that Xander Hall used were, you need to eat the shit sandwich as fast as possible. Just munch down and eat that, that shit sandwich. That's a, a, a paraphrasing, but that's approximately what he said in a recent video about uh, Joe Biden. So tell me how I am to be critiqued both for criticizing Biden before and for criticizing Biden after. He's not the nominee anymore. He's not the shit sandwich. So where's the logic? The answer is there isn't. This is some fucking beep boop NPC Biden cult bullshit is what this is. Insanity is what it is. But when Biden began to be like the foremost politician in America, even in the within the entire issue, pushing for a ceasefire and an ending of the conflict and an ending of the death and the enmity continued to be focused on Biden. Are you insane? This is the gaslighting. This is the gaslighting. This right here is fucking political malfeasance. The only reason that it's not political malfeasance is because Xander Hall's a fucking Minecraft YouTuber turned pseudo intellectual fucking political hack. Uh, and that's the only reason that it doesn't matter. But telling people that Biden is the foremost pro ceasefire politician in America is fucking insane. It's literally false. I was like, okay, so what's the deal now? Like, we're months out from the election. What's the deal, right? Um, and I kind of tussled around with the idea of maybe calling out, like, Vosh or Demon Mama or both of them in, like, a friendly way, because we're, we're friends. And you I did. You did call us out, and you weren't friendly. You did. Your chatters came and told me that you were shitting on me, that you were saying that I'm a Trump supporter, and you we watched the video of you doing it to Vosh. You did come for us. I, I'd like to have it be Idiot. a conversation. Like, if I can have a productive conversation with anybody in this sphere, it should be them, right? Um, I, I don't know, dude. What happened in December? Have before as well. Uh, so it's weird that this went so nuclear uh, in particular. But um, I was like, okay, all right. Uh, over time, I just kind of felt the desire to cover that welling up people were requesting it as well and what made me decide to do it was when my buddy ethan who is my editor pointed hey here he is throwing his friend ethan his friend and employee question mark ethan under the bus again love that super bold and spine pilled xander hall here once again throwing his buddy under the bus have you noticed i haven't thrown fucking anyone under the bus have you noticed just 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 behold the difference in power of soul the, the glowing, the glowing, gilded, empowered spirit of the demon mama versus the cowering widow goblin birthday boy throwing all of his friends under the bus. It's incredible the, the way at which he throws his remaining friend under the bus. Out ...that Vosh was A-B testing thumbnails, ones that were more like neutral in their presentation of Biden, like it'd just be a picture of Biden pointing at a podium, and another thumbnail that would be uh, like Biden but it's like framed like he's a demon or something, right? Like a really negative uh And I'm I'm trying to understand what does this what relevance does this have? YouTube has had the feature to allow you to A B test thumbnails. The video content is the same. The thumbnail is figuring out, okay, what what presentation is better? What is the get here? What's the get here? Thumbnail of Biden. And A-B testing is when you upload multiple thumbnails and YouTube, like, cycles through them in recommendations. So you might notice a video with multiple thumbnails, but it's the same video getting recommended to you. Uh, uh, Wendigoon A-B tests his videos. And a video that he's A-B testing right now, you might have noticed, is his kudzu video. Okay. Um, kudzu is an invasive vine. I've, I've known of this problem for a long time because I grew up in Florida. It's a big problem. Oh, yeah, you're super smart, bro. It's also... We all know you're, you, have the, you have the mental fortitude to be a invasive species and horticulturist expert. Big problem up here. Um, but Wendigoon uh, has at least two thumbnails he's using for that video because I've seen both of them, and he's A-B testing them. And so, I, like, Ethan noticed that Vosh was A-B testing his thumbnails to try and see if, like, the anti-Biden thumbnails were getting more clicks, and they were, and so that's what they stuck as. Um... And uh, w when that got pointed out, that was when I decided, okay, I'm going to make a video calling out uh, the anti-Biden stuff. It's not just the anti-Biden stuff, it's the... So wait, remember? Hold on a second. 
I just want to point something out, like how comfortable with a stream of falsehoods Xander Hall really is at this point in time. Earlier in this video, he tried to say he didn't start the drama. And then he said, I was thinking about doing a video, but I didn't. And just now we just listened to him admit that he got mad about A-B testing and made a video going after Vosh. Not to mention, of course, that I already showed you a video from back in May with him trying to slyly ch uh, imply that I was dishonest and, and fucking rewrite history. No coverage of Biden's accomplishments and all anti-Biden stuff, right? Yeah, and good, good, good. Just, just I, I know that this isn't this case and we all know our opinions on this particular issue, but good. No one should have been fucking glazing Biden. It was political malpractice to pretend that Biden was a performing candidate when we needed to get someone else in. And Harris is killing it. Harris is nailing it right now. Harris is on the campaign trail. Harris's team has got ads and jokes and memes out. Harris's team is, is uh, Harris is rising up in the polls. Harris is out, uh, Harris had an unbelievable success uh, of, of fundraising more than any other candidate. It's the most successful day of democratic fundraising in the history of the US. And you're still coping about Biden because you lost, you gargled that fucking Biden diaper cock. So I call it out and the particular narrative that's like the most present at the time is that Biden should drop out. Now, at the start of this, it was, uh, it was like the Tomorrow I'm going to log on and there's going to be a Xander Hall, a Xander Hall community call out post being like, Oh my God, Demon Mama did a vile homophobia towards the President of the United States and, um, and, uh, and Xander Hall. Uh, he was so, so homophobic. He's just a white boy from Florida. Being from Florida is basically being queer, which is basically being gay, so homophobia problematic. There was polling that was not very strong in favor of Biden. I was encouraging people not to panic because it was just Doomer. Uh, Vosh was one of the people basically Doomering about these polls, which was making people panic. I know that many- of They should have panicked sooner. The panic got us Kamala. Kamala, who actually has a shot at beating Trump. Joe Biden would have lost his ass to Trump. You think Joe Biden, the fact that Joe Biden stepped down proves that everybody was goddamn right. The fact that Joe Biden himself resigned. You notice that we've barely seen a head or tail of the current sitting president since he got COVID? You think Biden might not be doing so hot? You think Biden's health might be in the tank? I'd love to see Joe Biden go to another debate in September post having COVID. Yeah, right. That'd be great. It'd be, it'd be amazing to watch him literally single-handedly lose the election to Donald Trump so that Donald Trump can put Pro Project 2025 into action. Ridiculous. If you hop, like jump ship from Vosh's channel to um, uh, like join here and uh, like get away oh, from- Oh the... yeah, I bet, I bet so many people are jumping ship from Vosh to Xanderhal. I bet they're I bet they're totally digging the dingy moldy basement uh crying forgets what he says every 5 seconds whining whimpering pathetic no riz no jokes vibe Doomering, I know many of you have reported that to me, so I don't think I really need to go into Also much totally not a doomer uh sitting here still coping about Biden detail in that respect um, but he was doomering really heavy and I've made it a goal of mine to not succumb to that doomerism and to continuously encourage you guys to enthusiastically support the nominee for the Democratic Party and uh, calling for the current guy who seen who who three months out from the election there is no reason to believe he's going to step down um, especially after multiple times saying he won't uh, I'm like okay so your, your repetitive calls for him to step down it's insane, okay? It's, it's, it like, you, you gotta stop now. Like, this is the most... Oh, yeah, you know what? By the way, if Zan's gonna do a jumping from Vosh to, to Xander Hall moment, this is a perfect moment. We got a lot of viewers here right now. If you're having fun, if you're finding this funny, interesting, cathartic, whatever, you should subscribe to my channel. It's super easy. You can press the subscribe button down below and you'll get to see more stuff. Also like the video, it'd be great. We'd love to have you. I talk about a lot of things. I don't always get this mad, but I 
often do about certain topics. Uh, high energy and lots of fun, so we'd love to have you. See, there you go. And guess what? You don't even have to jump off from anybody else. If you like your current streamer, you can keep him. But guess what? I know you're going to like me. So press subscribe. Let's go. Shooting yourself in the foot situation that it gets, right? Uh, it is unprecedented for what you are asking for to actually happen, right? But I can't see into the future, and to be fair, neither can Vosh or Demon Mom or any of the people calling for this. But do you know who ended up calling for Biden to step down? I think Hutch uh, referred to him as the final boss of the Democratic Party, Obama. Barack Obama, in private apparently, called for, and it leaked if I remember correctly, called for Biden to step down, and that's that's what did it. That's what did it. When Obama calls, like what, what Obama says goes. Um, Except it didn't. Except it didn't. It didn't go. Obama's favorite... Yes, he's influential, but Obama's favorite candidate was not Kamala Harris. Obama's favorite candidate was Mark Kelly. And that's not who we ended up with. We ended up with Kamala Harris. So yeah, Biden's influential. Obviously, he was the president that Biden served under. But it's, this is just so stupid. This is stupid political analysis. This is weed and mold fueled political analysis. Let's just let's and go. so Biden did it. Let's go. Let's continue. Now, we gotta Bado, continue. I've I've been thinking like why, why was there such a heavy Democrat push for Biden to step down? I don't believe that it's his age or his health. I, I think his age and health are as good and bad as they have been. Um, what? Like he was just as bad in 2020. Like I went back and I watched some of those videos, and I mean, like the difference from 2012 to 2020 is pretty big but the difference from 2020 to 2024 is like nothing um so it doesn't seem like it's that but i will say biden is old like biden is not he doesn't have that long in him like on a grand scheme of things so the idea of biden winning even in november isn't really a best case scenario for the democratic party when you really think about it the, the more I think about this, the more smart of a decision this is from the Democratic Party's perspective as an investment. Because you'll know that having a living ex-president who is able to endorse members of your party in future elections is huge. That is a massive deal. And Biden might be able to get a second term. This is brain soup. This is brain soup. What we are witnessing is brain soup. I know, I know. We're not here to talk about Zan's politics. That we're here to talk about the fact that this guy threw the relationships with friends, including myself, in the trash. People who actually were there for him. People who were there for him when he was in times of need over and over and over again. And he threw people in the trash for fucking content. But, Jesus fucking Christ. And he might be able to be the next, like, president again. And that that's great for the Democratic Party. It's great for the country. But I don't know how long after his second term Biden is realistically going to live to endorse future candidates, right? And so we've gone from overnight nonstop attacking this administration to like memeing, so, like worship for the vice president of Dude, the. Dude, it's not worship, it's just enthusiasm. That should, this should make you think. It should make you go, oh, holy shit, I really misjudged just how unpopular Biden was. I really wasn't paying attention. People hated Biden. And even a half step to Kamala Harris seems like hope to people. He should be celebrating this. According to him, the only thing that matters is beating Trump. So why isn't he losing his mind? Where's the coconut memes? He was making dark Brandon memes every five seconds. It's not like, what is this? He's trying simultaneously to appeal to cold strategy and genuinity. This is deranged and inco incoherent, but whatever. Again, I'm getting... You can tell my political brain is getting activated. This administration. But let's continue. Let's continue. And so the people that are shitting on me for my defense of Biden, my, my response to you time and time again is, do you remember who the other half of the administration I've been making videos about their accomplishments of has been? Yes. Most of us can actually remember what we said 30 seconds ago. Most of us can remember what we had for breakfast. Can you? I've spent the last years making videos about the accomplishments of Kamala and Biden. 
Meanwhile, Vosh, Demon Mama, these YouTubers have been shitting on Kamala's administration for the last two years. <laughs> what is this JD Vance ass fucking pivot? And that is a comparison, by the way. And the comparison is your rizlessness. Trying to be like, um, you're actually, you were shitting on Kamala Harris. No, we were shitting on Joe Biden's admin. And yeah, Kamala was a part of it. And guess what? She got critiques too. I don't know about you, but I don't see you highlighting the lefties who were critiquing Kamala Harris's issues. I don't, I don't see you participating in the number of libs and lefties who've been actually pressuring Kamala to have a different position on Gaza. I don't see you doing it. I see you fucking coping about Biden, whining, bitching, and lying. But let's continue. So even if they start making pro Kamala content Jesus today, Christ. I've been ahead of them for a year, two years now. More. This is so pathetic. I've never seen anything so cucked in my entire life. <laughs> so that is basically my, uh, my recap of the drama and my message to those who are salty at me. JD Zance, yep. I know I've got a reputation lately for like bridge. So now we're going to a second section. There was a cut there because he's moving to another section where he is going to talk about this. Gayfesh says, reposting this because you were in the bathroom. I gotta say, as a more general complaint about PV, they officially had no policy on Gaza. I don't know if that's changed, but they have literally never spoken about it through any public channels that I'm aware of and they love posting streamer clips to their Twitter. I'm sure a big part of that was the culture that Brianna Wu helped cultivate while she was there, but it's probably telling us to why Zan's coverage of the Gazan genocide is footage not found. Yeah, Zan has not, uh, Zan has not exactly had a, uh, a, a, a glowing history on talking about that issue, an issue which was very important to me, an issue which I've covered extensively and talked about extensively. In fact, I covered it so much it was to the detriment of my channel at the time. People stopped engaging because it was too frickin' depressing. Um, and uh, personally, it was a major issue, and Biden's positions on this were bad. Interestingly, and it's too early to tell in full, but Kamala Harris seems to be, at the very least, considering a change in direction, which would be cool. That would also imply that Biden, uh, who has always been a very, very loud and staunch supporter of Israel, going so far as to say, in his own words, that Israel has an absolute right to self-defense. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Chariot says they give Wick a lot of money for content and he explicitly says, uh, said that calling uh, the, the genocide in Gaza a genocide was a form of blood libel. Yeah, they all like to participate in that. It's pretty bad. Wick is one of the foremost foot soldiers of PV alongside Xander Hall. Apparently they're in good company. So, you know, got my fresh drink. We're good to go. Let's do this. Snooking or whatever. But to be fair, I did not burn the bridge with Vosh and Demon Mama. And I was completely... You literally did. I did not mention. Actually, you literally did. You literally fucking did, my man. I didn't burn any bridge with him. At all. There was no, in my video, there was no bridge burnt, okay? In my video, I teased him a little bit. I think that I teased him fairly to how he was going in on myself and on Vosh. I never mentioned bridge burn. I never said it was the end of the road. In fact, at the end of my video, I said, I don't think it's the end of the road. I don't think people should hate Zan. But you know what? I'm beginning to change my mind. Especially with this dishonesty. Especially with the complete lack of spine to just own the fact that you're doing the bridge burning right now. We're watching it. Oh, when I DM'd him, he literally blocked me. I was like, dude, you can't be this dishonest and stupid. When I make a video roasting some of your bad takes, which you made about myself and Vosh, you, uh, you freaked out and you li started lying about me on social media and on your stream. You can't be that stupid and dishonest. Then he just blocked me. That's a fucking bridge burn. He blocked me on every platform and you're telling me he didn't bridge burn? This is the face of a fucking spineless liar. I was happy enough to let our paths diverge, okay? And I did. 
you can go and you can check the history of my channel. If you don't believe me, you can go watch the entire, in fact, I encourage you, go watch the entire VOD history of my channel. You're not gonna find me dunking on Zam. You're gonna find me doing my own thing. Can you say the same about him? No, you can't, it's that easy. Right to burn the bridge with Keffels. You can say that I'm like, quick to burn bridges and stuff, that's fine. But when it's like consistently proven to be the right choice time and time again, can, can you guys really give me crap for it? And when the most recent ones that yeah, I would dude, say are- Yeah, you're so consistent. You're so right all the time. Uh, how many uh, how many connections do you still have in these spaces? Do you have any? That aren't your own employee or a chatter? Less reasonable if I had just nuked the bridge over it. Weren't even me burning the bridge. Like, if Vosh messaged me, like, hey, sorry about what I said, if you want to come on stream and talk this out, uh, I'd be happy, or even just talk it out in private or something, I'd be, like, I'd be fine. Like, that'd be cool. Um, I'd be a little sore over some of the stuff that he and Demon Mama have said, but I I'd be cool. I did not burn that bridge. I'm, I- Wait, what do you mean, bro? What are you talking about? This is, this is fucking gaslighting. Are, this is, I am reacting to a stream that he did. I made a video in which I explicitly say it's not the end of the world uh, that Zan had some bad takes. It's just weird and makes me pissed off the way that he's talking about people, that he keeps calling his friends, and that he keeps invoking the time that we spent together in real life. This, this stream occurred before today. What the, this is like, I'm not even kidding you, live rewriting of history. Just, I can't even believe what we're seeing here. Just li like, I'm sorry, can I listen to this again real quick? It's time and time again. Can, can you guys really give me crap for it? And when the most recent ones that I would say are less reasonable if I had just nuked the bridge over it, weren't even me burning the bridge? Like if Vosh messaged me like, hey, sorry about what I said, if you want to come on stream and talk this out, uh, I'd be happy or even just talk it out in private or something, I'd be like... You said that, oh my God, just, oh my God. I'd be fine, like that'd be cool. Um, I'd be a little sore over some of the stuff that he... Killjoy40k says, has it come time to show receipts? Like, do people have to show Xan acting out in DMs and shit for him to come clean? I'm not here to blow up all the DMs, okay? I'm not here to blow up all of his DMs. However, I will say this. If the people directly affected decide to come forward and share that information, I will support them. It's that simple. That's all that I'm going to say, okay? What he did to me was treat me like trash, discard my friendship, and tell others uh, that he was planning on burning me, which um, may not make a whole lot of sense to everyday average uh, viewers, but if you are friends with a, another public figure and somebody that you trust comes and says, hey bro, um, just so you know, somebody that we mutually trust has said that they are now going to burn you, um, that's a pretty horrible feeling, especially when that person is someone that you just devoted literal hours of your life to taking care of while they were having a self-induced uh, uh, derangement episode, okay? It's a very bad feeling. This is actually so crazy that he's trying to pull this shit. This is beyond birthday boy. This is, this is just straight into trying to rewrite, like actually rewrite history. And Demon Mama have said, but I'd be cool. I did not burn that bridge. I'm I I am not the one holding a grudge. Okay. Also, as much as I like DM, I think her anti Biden stuff made her hate libs even more, and it's just disappointing to see her. Well, okay. I I mean I've, I'm friends with Demon Mama. Like I've I hung out with her. She hates liberals. Like she considers liberals to be like the left wing of fascism. Um, and and so does Vosh. Like, you guys know that, right? Like, Vosh and Demon Mama consider liberals to be the left wing of fascism. So... Like... Y like, liberals are their political adversary at the end of the day. Like, yeah, there's some agreements on some things, but at the end of the day, they hate liberals. And that will guide... I don't hate liberals, I hate liberalism. And by the way, I just need people to be clear about this because um, I don't 100% agree with his characterization, although it does make me sound like a, an incredible badass. Um, but uh, I have been uh, personally and directly talked down to, uh, had my rights undercut, 
uh, uh, had liberals tell me that I'm getting in the way of their political victories just for being trans, okay? I have watched as liberal governments uh, attempt to uh, legislate the exact genocide that the far right wants on my people. Uh, right now, there is a liberal party in the UK that is currently carrying forward the far right's agenda against trans people. I'm not kidding you. Right now in the UK, the Labour Party is pushing forward the adoption of a, of a horrifically propagandistic anti-trans agenda that will res severely restrict access to HRT for young people. Here in the US, Joe Biden repeatedly said, I got your back, Jack. I got your back, Jack. I mean, Jill, maybe. Maybe you're a Jill now or Jack. I don't remember which one it is. Whatever you are. Uh, and then proceeded to do absolutely nothing as multiple red states spiraled off into s derangement, into the extreme uh, uh, persecutory civil rights restricting um, aggressive non-democratic legislation. It's incredible. So yeah, um, do I hate liberalism? Yeah, I do hate liberalism. And any rational person who has a stake in the game will also hate liberalism. Now liberals... There are tons of great liberals. There are I there are liberals in my community. I have conversations with liberals all the time. So no, I don't hate liberals. Uh, I hate the liberals who tell me that they're going to take a small bit of pleasure when Trump puts me in a camp, which is a remarkably common occurrence. Anyway, let's continue. Let's continue. Hide their politics at the end of the day. Like they are hardcore leftists in that way. So um, I, I don't I don't think I'm really a hardcore leftist. I mean, I guess policy wise, I, I like the idea of um, of markets. You remember? Do you remember when Xander Hall used to call himself an anarchist? Anybody remember? He's just he wants to just forget that part. Anybody remember when he used to when he used to flex about being more left than liberals? Remember that? I just. There was no anarchism arc in, in XanderHall.gg. He used to do that. Oh my god, man. People, the, the memory. The memory is so short. Socialism. You know, like, like that's pretty fucking radical, market socialism being my ideal. Like, I actually believe that market socialism would work for America. I think it would be phenomenal. Uh, I don't think homeless people should exist. I don't... I would love to hear him even articulate a single aspect of market socialism. I want to hear just one. I want to hear him just articulate one aspect of market socialism that he thinks could be implemented in America think that bills for any sort of health care should exist or like I don't think you should have to pay for health care I don't think you should have to pay for housing I don't think that life should be conditional on work um, but I also think there should be a market you know like I think the existence of a market is fine I think money existing Zan phrasing how do I how do I phrase things badly I, don't, I didn't even catch how I how I phrase things wrong um, I still like the idea of there being Oh, homeless shouldn't exist. Is that no? I don't think the I homelessness should exist, right? Like, there should not be homelessness. You should not have to conditionally Bazinga. like get housing or conditionally get healthcare or conditionally get food. These should not be things that are conditional when like the provision of these things in the most wealthy, powerful country on the planet. Obviously, um, but I still believe in money, markets, private property. These are still things I think. Calling yourself a socialist at all. Like, look, socialism in and of itself, there's plenty to critique from a leftist perspective of socialism versus communism, okay? There's an entire history of conflict between those two versions. A lot of people just think like they're basically the same thing. They're not. But also, even if you call yourself a socialist, having just no critique of money and being like, yeah, we should always have money, it just means you don't, you have no familiarity with the basic concepts of the belief that you're advocating. I know we're not, we're wasting too much time on the politics stuff. You're good. Let's just go. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'd go as far as them. And I think that's where a big part of the, uh, the line might exist, I guess. You know, I saw, um, I feel I should add this into this video as a, uh, addendum because I've been seeing people on Twitter, mind you, of, very small and shrinking bubble of people, but regardless, uh, they do exist. Are you a socialist? No, I am not a socialist. I might as well acknowledge them, just in case any of you guys have heard their arguments and, and 
weren't there for the original uh, stream or the original segment. Um, Demon Mama, I have been informed, uh, clip chimped me, or at least played a clip chimped clip of me, where I say a small. This is the clip of me, so I'm gonna reiterate what the clip says. This is the one where he says a small part of him wants Trump to win. And then I'm going to, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to, much like Kamala Harris, uh, uh, debunk the context-phobic argument uh, that, uh, that... I roasted his stupid joke, and now he's so spineless. He won't even respond to my video, but he'll just be like, yeah, it was out of context. This is fucking Jordan Peterson shit. This is Demon Mama pathetic. Uh, the clip of this is pathetic. Me, is me saying something? I, I think I'll be as word for word as I can. Uh, a small, very tiny sliver of me kind of hopes that Trump wins because the 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 political shooting in the foot by the left here has been so overwhelming. I don't want it to be rewarded. I literally play the whole clip. Good. I will admit that a part of me, a part of me, a very small part of me, kind of wants to see Trump win. Or it's less so wants to see Trump win, but thinks Trump will win. And when he does, that part of me will be able to, I told you so. And that bit got clipped and, it, and it, like it's being shipped around as like me being a, uh, a Trump supporter, right? Now... I'm going to use an analogy very quick, and I think anybody- How is that out- first of all, how is this context phobic? How is this context phobic at all? We play the whole thing. We even play the part where you go, nah, nah, guys, I- I don't. I don't really want Trump to win, you know, <laughs> but you know. I was roasting the sentiment. I was roasting the hypocrisy, which is still there. There's no context phobia around that. I'd love to- let's, let's hear his justification. This will be really funny who doesn't understand this is so can we can we just acknowledge like how how pathetic this is this is not is this entertaining for his viewers is this inspiring for his viewers this is spineless pathetic whining it's the type of shit that you do when you're phoning it in and what i mean will completely get it when i make this analogy let's say you and a friend go outside together and your okay. friend climbs up a tree and starts tight wa tight rope walking along a branch. Okay. And you're like, hey man, you should stop that. You're gonna get hurt. That's really dumb. You should stop. And your buddy's like, nah man, it's fine. I'm gonna be okay. What are you worried about? Nah, you're dumb for being worried about this. What? And you're like, all right, man. Okay. And a part of you kind of hopes they fall and just get a tiny bit hurt. Gas leak? Gas leak? Hurt. Like, almost hurt. That I, I'm trying to understand what's this supposed to- what, what is- what is this supposed to address? You were accusing other people of wanting Trump to win and then you admitted on your stream publicly that a part of you wants Trump to win just so you can spite your foes while you were trying to call other people doomer spiteful people. What is this? What? That way they know. What does a tightrope analogy have to do with anything? You weren't wrong about how dangerous this is and that like their carelessness is a serious oh problem. The because amazing. otherwise, they're just going to come down completely fine, and they're going to think you were stupid for being worried about them, and they were, and that you're you're dumb for being careful in a situation like that, or not doing something like that. This really doesn't fly, by the way. When he, it's funny, he was calling other people context phobic, but the context of his statements about about Trump winning, his he spends his own channel spending every day saying that Donald Trump is a fascist who's going to kill minorities and hurt minorities. And yet, and and he doesn't understand that that is a little different than wanting your friend to learn a lesson. This is so stupid. Like, I can't even believe, I can't even, be, like, I don't know. Have I made a mistake in reacting to anything he says at all? This is like, this is a adult man who is talking 
like a literal child. Obviously, you don't actually want your friend to get hurt. You don't want your friend to fall and get hurt and to be right. You want your friend to be okay more than you want to be right. Just like I want Trump to lose, and I want the groups that he is targeting to have rights more than I want to be Damn, right. Damn, obliterated. He obliterated my funny joke. I bet people laughed so hard at his um, sharp, insightful, and definitely uh, a coherent response. Right. I'm, I'm, Num it's over for me. I'm done. Less a small sliver of you still has that thought, and I verbalized that. And of course it gets clipped, and like Demon Mama jumps on it and stuff. What do you mean it got clipped? We reacted to the whole thing. Where was the context that changed what I made fun of? The fact that DM didn't question the context is very telling. Um, what context? Hits vape. Bro, that's a little context phobic. If you um, if you listen to it again, what I was saying is basically a small part of me wants to see people learn their lesson. Yeah, you know. Okay, yeah, that's what I said, and I made fun of that. Yeah, but you're not. You're like forgetting the context, my man. I mean, yeah, it's it's like the second. I like the second people who I used to be friends with in this space don't like me anymore. It is wild how quick they jumped to like just shitting on me in the most wild way. No, see, the thing is, I would have been fine. And I, I've demonstrated this that I've been fine to not shit on you in any way. You started shitting on other people, you started picking a fight, and when I roasted you even a tiny bit, even when I when I pushed back even just a little bit, and it was funny. And I bet your viewers laughed at it too. I know you won't watch the actual video. You notice how everything he's saying, he's not actually playing a clip. He's just saying he heard from someone in chat. Notice how that's working? Is too. So it's like, oh man, I guess that was always in the chamber, you know? I guess, you know, never really uh, felt. Your idiocy was always in the chamber since December. Since you fucking freaked out, berated your best friends, the, since you had a complete and utter childlike meltdown, a literal toddler fit in which you were threatening the people around you to help you save your ass from the mistakes you made in a pointless conflict with Keffels, and people said, dude, just take the L, just say, okay, I made a mistake and retweeted the wrong thing and let it go. And, you, and he wouldn't do it. Instead, he decided to threaten people, scream at them, berate them. And now he's like fucking doing this shit. Pathetic. Too positive about me in the first place. But regardless, uh, that's my response to that line. I feel like that's really- I chose to not, uh, to not involve myself in a pointless, stupid conflict for six months and instead just let you do your own thing while you took pot shots at me, which I have proven in this stream. So yeah. Only like, um. Like, I I thought that, like, Vosh nuking the bridge with me would be, like, harmful to my- Nasty Trumpet says, he's DJ muling you with not- with this not playing clips behavior. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? We need one of those- we need, like, a, uh, we need, like, a, uh, one of those Animorphs images of just Xander Hall turning into DJ Mule. D seriously, he's literally doing the same tactic. He vaguely referring to things, accusing me of clip chimping him, not explaining how I clip chimped him at all, and then l not even doing worse than clip chimping. He's not even playing my clips. He's just saying what someone in chat told him I said. Yep, yeah, he, he's gonna be like, this is so mean. This D DJ Mule was so mean to me. That's such a low blow. Nah, dude, you're fucking lying about me in real time while trying to accuse me of lying of you. You're literally projecting your behavior right now onto me. Fuck you. That's the same shit that you got mad and I got mad at DJ Mule for, bro. My channel? Because, like, when the Keffels drama happened, I don't know if you guys saw, but I dropped down from, like, 92,000 subscribers to, like, 86,000. I lost, like, six... 7,000 subs from the Keffels drama. From Your own fault. Your own fucking fault. The reason you lost those subs is because you fucking shot yourself in the balls and then kept doing it and then made it everyone else's problem. The reason you lost subs is because you blew your own team up. Of course you're gonna lose subs when you fucking nuke your own talent. When you threaten your own talent. The people who kept your channel afloat, of course you're gonna lose subs. You are the loser who lost your own fucking channel and you can't take an L to this day months later 
You're still seething! From, like, my own fans thinking, like, being convinced I was an asshole, or Keffel's fans that also watch me, uh, I guess, choosing who they're loyal to, so to say. And that's probably how they thought of it. Um, and so I lost a ton of support. Vosh nukes the bridge with me, and I don't know if it's that... When did Vosh nuke the bridge with you? You were you were grossly mischaracterizing him after months of not even talking to him. After you admitted that you didn't talk to him for months, you decided to take shots at him and accuse him of something. Look, um, there are different reasons why myself and Vosh are both both would be bothered by being called a Trump supporter, by being compared to to various right wing figures, but. Vosh, I, I, I'm capable of empathy, and I can understand why Vosh might be a little bothered when his entire channel for the last, like, multiple years has been devo devoted to countering, uh, debunking, challenging, and overcoming the MAGA movement, and then you, someone that he trusted, someone that he was friends with, someone who he was very generous to, started calling him a Trump supporter. That's something that would, in a normal human being with a functioning soul, would be able to go, oh yeah, shit. I can see why I bothered him. I should shoot him a DM and say, I'm sorry about that. I should boot up my stream and say, I went, I fired too hard. I was really being too hard. I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to bother you with that. That would be the easy thing to do. But see, Zan sees that as groveling. Zan sees behaving like a normal human being and he sees Vosh responding to something that he said. A the default condition in Xander Hall's mind is I get to say whatever I want with no repercussions. Literal man-child brain. I, like, the level of emotional stupidity is exactly the reason why nobody has talked to Xander Hall. Why I haven't talked to Xander Hall. Because his emotional stupidity and abusive, and his abusive tendencies, not just abusive tendencies, his outright abuse of people close to him, okay? alienated everyone, including myself. The thing that he's not wise enough to witness is that we were being, that I, I can't speak for anybody else, but that I was being kind by simply saying, we walk different paths now, my man. When I said, dude, you're way out of line, that was it. When I found out that he was threatening to burn me publicly over me saying, bro, you need to pump the brakes. You're freaking out and hurting people and you're out of line. That he threatened, he was going to burn me publicly over that? When I found out about that, I said, I'm walking another way. I could, and I, I would have had every single right to toast him. When I found out he was planning to backstab me, I would have had every right to defend myself. And I didn't. I chose the high road. Literally. I literally said, no. You know what? If he decides to burn me, that's it. But I'm not trusting him anymore. This is not somebody who's treating me like a friend. And this fucker is trying to sit here and play everybody's heartstrings and tell you, oh, yeah, I guess they were just lying about me the whole time. Post the what does he mean by burn you? Let's be, can we just use some basic, can we just, can we just use some basic logic here? We know what Zan means. We know what Zan means. He's talked about it and admitted it every single time. It means he's gonna nuke you. It means he's gonna try and destroy your reputation. He's going to try and say shit about you publicly. He will destroy your friendship and try and shit talk you and ruin your reputation. We know what it means. I knew what it meant when he said it then. In the context, he was screaming at people, swearing at them over and over, then get, again, accusing them of, uh, of all kinds of things. He was berating his own employees, he was berating his friends, and he was talking about nuking Keffels when he tells a mutual connection of ours that he wants to burn me because I won't stand next to him in, in his stupid fight against Keffels. I know what that means, and so should everybody else. And I bet if you were in my situation, you would go, I don't trust this guy anymore. Like, a bunch of, like, Vosh's fan base left me during the Keffels thing. I think that was part of it. If it was my pro-Biden content. Yeah, the funny thing is, is he could never burn me, even if he wanted to. He could try as hard as he wanted, but the reason he couldn't burn me is because he would need help to burn me. And he doesn't have any help, because no one trusts his ass. And he's got to be careful, because not only is he burning himself... 
but he's made a lot of other mistakes. And if people get pissed off, and if he hurts other people, they might fight back too. Over time, encouraging people to vote Biden and to support Biden, because like, we gotta stop Trump, uh, or just a combination of things. But like, apparently I've been shedding Vosh fans for a while now. Because Vosh nuking the bridge, or maybe it's because the th the reason he nuked the bridge, his own fans don't really agree with him on. That could also be it as well. Um, but on top, whatever it is, I've not lost subs from this. I've actually gained... Bizadu says he's got friends who lurk 4chan and feed him info. Yeah, that friend is called fucking Ethan. They openly admitted it. Yeah, who cares? Anybody can go lurk 4chan. People can, you can type it in right now, 4chan.org, and nobody will even know that you did it. You shouldn't, because it's a shitty-ass website, and it'll just make you feel bad, but, yeah. Subs at a faster speed during this drama than any other time in the recent years and at, like, making content. And I haven't even been uploading or streaming much, either. Like, it's wild. Um, I expected to, like, suffer some consequences and uh, for daring to disagree with Vosh, because I share... It doesn't get more birthday boy than that. It doesn't get more fucking birthday boy than that. He, he thinks he's entitled to viewers that he's pissing off. The entitlement is actually insane. Actually insane levels of entitlement. I dared to disagree when I co directly compared, and I mean directly compared, Vosh to Tim Pool. Oh, come on. This is so stupid. An audience with him? Not even a little bit. Not even a little bit. Wait, is the Vosh bridge burned? He burned the bridge, uh, Widrose. Um, You're a coward. You're a fucking coward. You know what? It doesn't even matter. Even though I can literally show you right now the screenshot of Xan saying, I'm blocking you, screw you. You're, you're full of BS. I'm blocking you. And then him blocking me on everything. I literally posted the screenshot of him blocking me on Twitter. He'll still claim that, that I burned the bridge. So guess what? If you want to believe that, you're right. I burned the bridge. I burned the bridge. I burned our bridge quietly, intelligently, like an engineer who actually understands fire. I used a couple pieces of thermite back in December when you fucking freaked out and abused your best friend who carried your channel for three fucking years while you sat on your ass sucking down vapes. When you did that, you're right. I burned the bridge. I put the thermite and the bridge went down like this. And you're so stupid that you didn't even notice and you wandered directly into a fucking canyon. There you have it. If you want to call me the bridge burner for saying, bro, this is it. Then I did. Then there you have it. You can have it. You can have this one. Because I have a fucking spine. If you want to consider that a bridge burn, of course, this is a fucking childish framing. That's not, people don't... Every time you disagree with somebody, isn't somebody burning the bridge? This is the mentality of someone who needs to be a victim. Who needs, not for anybody else. He thinks he's doing it for his audience is going to believe him. But nobody fucking believes him. People can see the record for their own eyes. We're watching it happen right now. But you know what? If it helps his psychology, then sure. I burnt the bridge. And I burnt the bridge because you threw our friendship in the trash. You threw Cherry's friendship in the trash. You threw all of our friendship in the trash for your fucking ego. So that you could feel a little better after you picked a fight and lost. Hey, Zan, where's the Vosh retraction video you promised? Well, there won't be a... I didn't promise a Vosh retraction. We watched him promise it! We watched him promise a retraction video. We watched that clip on my last one. Go watch my birthday boy stream. He promised that if Zan went f whole hog for Kamala Harris, that he would make a retraction video. He literally said, I'll do it. Stupid asshole. Like, I will take back everything I said in my criticism of Vosh. Well, maybe not everything I said. There was definitely some valid uh, critiques of Vosh's non-coverage of Biden's achievements. But I'll take back a lot of what I said about Vosh's calls for Biden to drop out if he immediately gets on the Kamala train. Like, if, if he's on the Kamala train now, and he's making, like, we gotta vote for Kamala, con like, now. You gotta get behind Kamala, get behind Kamala, we gotta vote, we gotta stop Trump. If he starts making content like that, I'll be like, okay, no, I, I totally misread this. Okay, my bad. And I'll take it back, and I'll make a video taking it back. Let's hope he does that. Also, bros called me, like... Blue MAGA grifter. It's not happening, dude. He's lied about me, as has Demon Mama, a massive mount since all that happened. Name a lie. Name one lie. 
happen. But enjoy your band, buddy. I am so happy to inform you that if you are a, a, a Malding Vosh fan, I have not lost any subs because of Vosh nuking the bridge with me. Uh, the hate comments on Twitter have been embarrassing. But didn't he just say that he did? Embarrassingly low volume because your bubble is growing continuously smaller. Um, I don't know why you come in here talking a mad game when, uh, like, I'm not even going to get into it regardless. I'm not even going to- Hold on a second. Wait a second. Let's just do a little, let's do a little fact check there. The Vosh bubble is growing infinitely smaller. Let's see. Let's just do a quick fact check. You know, I know that liberals love their fact checks. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so we got Vosh at 554,000 subscribers. Let's take a look, let's take a look. And we got Xander Hall at 91.4 thousand subscribers. That's interesting. So we got Xan at 91,000 and we got Vosh at 454,000. Huh, wow. Well, as everyone knows here, in the Xan world, 91,000 is much larger than 454,000. I mean, Xander Hall, I mean, as we know, in this conflict between Vosh and Xander Hall, the Vosh community is fixing to lose potentially tens of millions of subscribers. So, could get really bad, guys. Could get really bad. Here we have it. <laughs> Here we have it, everybody! <laughs> it's happening in real time! <laughs> we gotta put that on the thumbnail. That's gonna be our thumbnail. No, I shouldn't put it on the thumbnail because it's too mean out the gate. People need to understand. They need to see why I'm pissed off. But it is really good. It is really good. No, it, the time to be mean is right here, where I'm being mean. You notice how at the beginning of the stream, I laid out the reason why I was mad? It's because in these spaces, um, context phobia is a real thing online, okay? People hear the version of the narrative that, they, that they, their content creator wants them to hear. And some content creators take advantage of that fact. Now with me, it's very easy for you to go verify. And also my style is that even when it's a detriment to my channel, I play the context. And it's funny because the time he accused me of context phobia, he just repeated what he had said before, which didn't answer anything. That's fine, Gayfesh, you have a lot more reason. I just, uh, I think this is great, personally. This is really good. Anyway. A, B, test the thumbnail. <laughs> Nah, that'd be that would be funny. All right, let's continue. Let's finish this. That would be funny. Maybe we should. Get waste my breath. The comprehensive investigation. That's we'll how much I don't. Care. Actually, that would be really funny. We'll do a we'll do an A B test of the thumbnail. Uh, one will have the 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 Xander Hall turning into D J Mule, and the other one will just have uh like will be our normal style. We all know the normal one will win, and the reason why is because nobody knows who D J Mule is. It is funny, but nobody really does anything. Who is DJ Mule? Yeah, see, nobody knows who DJ Mule is. That's the problem. Nuts says that the thumbnail, thumbnail makes no sense. DJ Mule pre pretended Zan wasn't a victim of abu abuse. Zan is being a man child and destroying friendships. This is just weirdly cruel. Nah, um, it's not weirdly cruel. Um, the way that Zan treated the people closest to him is uh, more cruel than a uh, more cruel than a YouTuber being an asshole. Um, he should have known better all the more because he had years of experience of people being cruel for no reason, and yet he turned his insanity and cruelty against people closest to him who took care of him. He t it'd be like uh, I don't know. It'd be like it'd be like taking out your anger on like the nurse that's like ch cleaning your bedpan uh, because some guy in the past was rude to you. Yeah, sorry, it's not. Um, that was just a YouTube video of an asshole. Uh, and yeah, DJ Mule is a fucking nasty asshole. But keep in mind that Xan is right now trying to rewrite history. 
f knowing full well what he did back in December. That's the crazy thing about all this. At the end of the day, um, none of it matters. None of, none of the opinions of all you chatters even, no hate, no hate. You all matter to me as viewers. But in regard to the, to the drama, Zan knows what he said. Zan knows what he said to me. Zan knows what he said to Cherry. Zan knows what he said to White Nervosa. Zan knows what he said to, to, to other people in his sphere. He knows. And he remembers. And so does everybody else. White Nervosa. Wonderful to see you. I hope you're well. Uh, I, uh, I wanted to... Since you're here, I'll take this opportunity to say thank you very much for being a friend to me and for uh, being someone who uh, is absolutely central to the success of my channel. I said this before, uh, but I'm going to say it again so that you can hear it um, because uh, I appreciate you and I see you as a part of the success of this channel that I wouldn't be able to do it without you and your talents and the talents of the team that you put together. White Nervosa says, I'm coming in late. Shout out to Lumi, who is cute, and Annie, who is based. Hearing what we heard, though, Demon Mama, begging him not to delete his ch channel and just take time for his mental health, it's surreal for him to say who burnt bridges. Yes, it's actually, it's actually insane. Um, yeah, it's, it's, actually, it's actually deranged. And I appreciate that you came in to say that, because um, I don't know if you're... White Nervosa, I don't know if your thread is still up. If your thread from at the time is still up on Twitter, um, could I read over that just so I can show people that I'm not just uh, pulling this shit out of my ass? The, 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 the entire, the only reason, like, I don't know, I don't want to restate myself, but the, the I, I was happy after everything that he did to just go my own way and, and let it be, let it be, okay? He was an asshole. We told him. We sorted this shit out in private and I wanted nothing more to do with him because I don't trust him anymore. That happened back in December and I haven't said shit about Xander Hall since then. But yeah, if you have the thread, I want to show it. Gaming Blow says, what, exa what exactly happened with Cherry? It, people, it feels like people already know, but I don't. Um, I've talked to Cherry and have permission to talk about this. Xander Hall repeatedly exploded on Cherry, threatened Cherry, berated Cherry, uh, in both vo voice and chat, um, it was a, like, weeks of Zan just absolutely blowing up, completely unhinged, screaming at Cherry, who, by the way, let me just, for the record, Cherry was, uh, doing almost all of the work for his cha for Zan's channel. Sh Cherry did nearly everything. All of the editing, thumbnailing, stream prep. Zan just turned on the camera and did what was given to him. And with, and also... Keep in mind that Z that Cherry would also take care of huge parts of things in his life. Cherry helped facilitate the move. Cherry helped facilitate all of his life finances. Cherry helped facilitate basically everything. Cherry was a best friend and, uh, and the heart and soul of Xander Hall's channel. And he treated her like fucking shit. And I don't, and, and I know that some people out there have their own conflicts with Cherry, but I need you to just put that aside for a second and recognize that between Cherry and Zan, what happened was fucking wrong. It was disgusting. And I told him that at the time, and he threatened to burn me over it. And he wasn't the only one. And I wasn't the only one, I should say. Here's the thread. Okay, we'll, we'll get back to Zan's response, but here's the thread, just so you guys know that I'm not making this up, okay? December 28th, 2023. White Nervosa. Thank you very much, White Nervosa. I really appreciate that. I do quite dislike drama, but we're here. Xander Hall's emotional manipulation and outright abuse are the reason I got directly involved. I frankly do not care and have described the situation as two retards fighting. That's a quote. After causing multiple emotional breakdowns, allow me. Zan's apology stream was an hour of the Shu drama to establish he's a victim. He says staying friends with Shu isn't a problem... The problem is the flippant disregard for what Shu did. He never shows where Keffels actually did this. Xander Hall tried to get permission to leak someone else's DMs between them and Keffels. They said no. He proceeded to emotionally abuse and manipulate them, and they had multiple breakdowns. I was witness to this. This is why, again, this behavior, in addition to a couple of other things that happened at the time, is why I haven't talked to Zan or about Zan 
in months. I told him that I'd raise the issue with White Forest and that we'd possibly drop him if he did not get consent to release those. He justifies saying they were a complicit asshole. By the way, who he was calling a, a complicit asshole was someone very close to him that was trying desperately to seek his help in a stressful situation. He, he says that that is blackmail and that's what he means. He accused multiple people of blackmailing him. By the way, this incident right here, this point right here is where I, I was present for the conversations, but this is where my opinion was sought. And I told him that he was out of line. I told him that it was insane to say that he was being blackmailed. I told him that he was out of line, that he needed to stop, that he was damaging his own future, his own channel, and his own relationships, that he needed to take a breather, log off, go outside, get some perspective, that none of us were trying to hurt him, that no one was against him, but that he was freaking out and hurting the people around him and being way out of line. And that's when he told a mutual friend that he was going to burn us. This was the spot right here, with, with, when he started slinging around the term blackmail. The hell, where is the blackmail? The blackmail from his position, from his position, the blackmail was, and this is insane. I need you to understand this is insane, but this was his justification. His justification was that it was blackmail to not allow him to leak someone else's DMs about a situation that he had nothing to do with because um, his decision to get in a fight with Keffels was a losing decision. He was taking a personal hit for the way that he handled his fight with Keffels, okay? And he said it was blackmail to not allow him to use these somebody else's DMs to get revenge on Keffels because it was tanking his channel. That's it. And yes, as Cherry says, Xander Hall had already threatened to delete his channel. He was threatening, he literally threatened us that he was, that if, if we didn't allow him to do what he wanted to do, and I was the least affected by that threat, obviously, because I don't own, have any ownership or participation in his channel. I was just his friend at that time. Um, but he threatened the, the, all of us that he was just going to delete his channel if people didn't let him do what he wanted to do with information that wasn't his. Yes, it was a, I, when I said it was a piss baby tamper tantrum, that's what I meant. Let's continue. The nuke he has on Keffels is overwhelmingly private statements and not public behavior, ignoring the stuff that, that's not involving Keffels at all in it. On the other hand, he told multiple people that if he isn't able to leak someone else's DMs to make the haters eat their words, that's a direct quote, by the way, he'd delete all social media uh, on, on the 22nd of December, 2023. I said it would be a better choice than violating someone's consent to own the haters. That call is recorded. Remember how I said that Xander Hall really should fucking log off and take a chill pill because if he pisses off other people, other people have information and proof of his behavior that would hurt a lot more than me doing a stream talking about why I'm no longer friends and why he's a fucking liar. The busy week he had prior to the stream on December 27th was him playing video games to escape, to quote unquote escape. I tried with two other people to talk him down. He left abruptly. One person concluded he was bluffing. They were correct. I'm not rolling in the mud with this and will simply release receipts without comment if he contests any of this information. Mind that he cannot simply just stop talking to someone. He must publicly attempt to drag them and have the crowd follow. Which is what I've been saying today too. That's what, you see, I'm not making this up. I'm not, sorry, that came off like I'm trying to like, get one over on White Nervosa. White Nervosa was speaking the truth at the time, and I'm trying to show you that we've been, we, there's, this didn't come out of nowhere, okay? Me not talking to Zan wasn't just me giving him the cold shoulder. We tried. I, I want to make clear, I'm not trying to say like, I'm telling you, I'm, White Nervosa told us. To quote Zan, for the safety of those involved, I won't release it. He is entirely aware and simply does not care. To call him, Selfish, a selfish man-child, 
would ignore the malicious abuse, his lack of care, to the point that he'd leak DMs to hurt someone else despite others. And here's the screenshot. Hi there, Zan. I want to make it known to everyone here now that there was no talk, blank, and I about your site status. We had a call today that was not recorded where I explicitly told you that you should wait. Nothing would be held against you and you should blank get blank's consent to leak DMs. Within a few hours, you changed your mind in a call that was just recorded. You justified leaking because blank was a complicit asshole. In response, you said if you leak it without consent, you would be dropped. I said if you leak it without consent, you'd be dropped. You've since accused me of blackmail. That is where we are at at this moment. Xanderhal says, sorry, not blackmail, but threatening my income. It worked. I'm just going to drop the Keffels thing. I see how it is. I got the message. Imagine responding to every person close in your life telling you to calm the hell down, take a breather. Literally, I need you to understand that at that time, all of us were saying, bro, your channel, first of all, your channel's not going to fail. You lost a few subs because you picked a really weird fight and people are not sympathetic to this weird fight, okay? But we all said, dude, we are going to support you Re IRL. You're not, your, your channel's not going to fail and you're not going to be homeless. We, we went there. We did that. I see how it is. I got the message. And even then, mind you, even at that time, White Nervosa says, for sure, I don't think he's a bad person, just made some mistakes and needs to catch his breath. Fast forward to May. The clip that I played at the beginning of the stream. Remember at the very beginning of the stream when I played that clip and he was saying, oh yeah, uh, Demon Mama was, you know, Demon Mama should have just gone along with the nuke with me. If she'd gone along with the nuke, if every, if every single person had gone along with the nuke, none of this bad shit would have happened. In May of 2024, he was still, still unapologetic. Still trying to rub it in the face of everybody. Insanity! And, and then, after all of that, he has the gall, okay? He has the gall to try and say that we're the bridge burners. The gall to say everybody else is out to get Zan. Let's get back to the video now that we've added that. Thank you very much for, for providing that, White Nervosa. I did not have a link to that um, thread. I didn't know if it, was, uh, if it had been deleted. I appreciate you having that their actions based on their findings, which is a big and notable announcement on its own, but also because it seems very different from- Dude, I saw- okay. I, I will give one last second of airtime to this just so we can laugh at something together, because I meant to talk about this on stream. I meant to it. talk about this on stream. One of the people who's shitting on me um, for being, uh, like, like, calling out Vosh's, like, torrent of anti-Biden content over the last year, and, and no coverage of, of Biden's achievements, one of the people mad about that commented, as Zan, as Zan, uh, Zan's viewership gets smaller, he becomes more and more unhinged and blue MAGA. A Vosh fan commented this on, on my video about Biden being based. E exactly, dot, dot, dot. Do they know? Do, are, are, are they familiar? Are, are they aware of the situation? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm gaining like a minimum of 100 subs a day, and Vosh is down like what 2.3k over the last month. Down 2.3k subs. Like, I oh, this is so cringe. I, 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 oh, my favorite part. This is the part that made it the funniest. The addendum to the comment. He gets more blue MAGA. And further from reality was the end of the comment. I can bring the comment up right now. It, I, I know this is like a, a complete stun lock, but I laughed so hard and it was days and days ago and I just remembered it and I meant to bring to show it on stream because it's so perfect. It's, it's such a perfect demonstration of how nothing the hate against me is right now. Like, it's loud. Honestly, though, this is kind of extremely, this is kind of extremely exactly what everybody was talking about. Isn't this a, a real... Oh my god! He admitted! Really is, right? It's all about the sub numbers, right? 
it's a stupid argument, and uh, it's crazy that he would be trying to say like, oh yeah, Vosh is going down when Vosh is like five, five times his, almost five times his size, and stay and and loses as many subs in a month as like ten times what he gains and still stays steady, like. But it's completely non-existent. It's not. It's a shitty own, but it kind of does kind of lay it all out for you, doesn't it? Didn't really. Hold on, I'm scrolling through. Okay, that's when the hurricane hit. I sent it to Ethan, so I'm scrolling through my- And he says Vosh has gained 4k subs in the past two weeks. His, his channel got a huge bump after Biden dropped out. My DMs with Ethan to find it. Here it is. Here's the comment. From Carrion0409, he had commented, this did not age well. I, this is me, uh, my video about how Biden is based. Mind you, it's me talking about how based Biden and Kamala's administration is. They comment, this did not age well. I swear, as Zan's audience shrinks, he's becoming more of a blue MAGA type, completely denying reality. Um, meanwhile, this person is denying re reality uh, because the YouTuber they are commenting this for, Vosh, is down 2.3k subs, and I am up uh, more than that over the last month. So, <laughs> okay, man. I know. A bit of a petty stun lock there, but I remember that, that comment, and it, it's a really... That comment right there is actually a really good example of the hate that his community has been sending me, and I would... You'd think I'd be upset about it, but I'm kind of happy because the comments are like, all that funny. They're all that funny in the context of me not losing any subs over this. Damn. Damn. Kind of lays it all out for you, doesn't it? We're not quite done, though. We have a little more to go. Because there's one more thing, okay? There's one more thing that, uh, that I wanted to play about this. Because I want you all to know, um, I want you all to know, remember, Xander Hall is the guy who takes accusations and false accusations very seriously, right? Zan, we all know, Zan's the guy. He's the guy who takes false accusations super 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 seriously okay just take a listen to this ah uh, does anybody have a link to the thumbnail of uh dm's video stream she did on it's like xander hall birthday boy uh something something bunch of insults or whatever uh just like a, it's just yeah and it's like a, a birthday party with with my like avatar there and it's like we're shit talking him on his birthday huh it's like, okay, man. All right. That's Does he know? Of course he doesn't know because he didn't actually watch the video. It's actually so like him. I'll say this again. I described this earlier, but I'll say it again. Um, if you would actually watch the video, um, it's because I, I called him a birthday boy, referring to the meme in which... I'm just a little birthday boy, don't hit me! In which a 5'8 a guy goes around taunting 6'3 people, 6'3 ripped gym bros, until they threaten to punch him. And then he goes, no, no, don't hit me, I'm just a little guy! I'm just a little guy, it's my birthday, don't hit me! That meme, the birthday boy meme, a meme that like damn near everyone who's not a boomer actually knows about, that was it. And if you watch the video, that was the actual reason. Now, it did actually happen to come out on his birthday. And um, I didn't know it was his birthday. I know that some people are going to find that hard to believe, but legitimately I didn't. Um, I got a message from someone that morning from a mutual friend of ours. I got a message from Cherry that morning, and Cherry said, you know it's his actual birthday today. I said, no, I didn't fucking know that. In fact, I was late on the video coming out. The video was, suppo the video was edited and uploaded uh, days before, and I was busy... Uh, doing life things 
and I just happened to, I, I literally messaged. In fact, my, my thumbnail editor, who's here right now, my thumbnail creator, who's here right now, can tell you, I messaged him the night before and was like, oh shit, I was late. I'm sorry that I was so late on telling you this. Some real life stuff got in the way. Would you be able to make a birthday boy Zan thumbnail uh, for the stream in which he was being a birthday boy? I, like, first of all, it, first of all, it wouldn't matter even if it was, even if I did know his birthday, because who fucking cares? So what if I made fun of you on your birthday? Are you that much of a fucking wimp? Are you that weak and fragile that if you throw punches and someone happens to make fun of you on your birthday, you're a widow birthday boy all of a sudden? It wouldn't matter anyway, but I didn't know. It's because you're a fucking birthday boy. It's because you're always the birthday boy. It's always your widow birthday. You always got an excuse for why you did nothing wrong. You've always got an excuse for why it's everybody else's fucking fault. Danny says, the video was ed edited and uploaded the day after the original stream because I am speed. You are. It was my failure that it got uploaded on Zan's birthday. I didn't know it was his birthday until after the video went live. In fact, I can literally prove it, but it, li it truly doesn't matter. It genuinely doesn't actually matter. He unironically did the I'm a little birthday boy. It's incredible. Anyway, let's, uh, let's finish this clip. It's quite vindictive. Oh, it's vindictive. It's vindictive. You want to know what fucking vindictive? All right, sorry. I, 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 that just set me off. I'm sorry. You want to know what's fucking vindictive? You want to know what's fucking vindictive? Because I got a, a little thing. All right? You want to fucking call me vindictive? You want to know what's fucking vindictive? When you fucking verbally abuse the shit out of your editor, and then they resign, and you don't fucking pay them for the work that they did for you. Because that fucking actually happened. That fucking unironically actually happened. Yeah, yeah, because he was so pissed off that the heart and soul of his channel resigned after he freaked out and berated, berated them repeatedly. That's fucking vindictive. Fucking vindictive is taking the person who carried your fucking ass, who carried your fucking channel, someone who was loyal to you, someone who stood by your side, when you fucking took Cherry's hard work and love for granted and you fucking pitched that to the shit and didn't even fucking pay her what she deserved. That's vindictive. Not me making a birthday boy thumbnail and your stupid ass thinking that it's because I'm trying to make fun of you for your birthday so that you actually do the birthday boy meme. Moron. No, Zan paid Cherry for work, just not for the, for the last month of work. That's fucking vindictive. Um, happy birthday, Xander Hall. I hope things work out for you, and I'm so glad uh, to be in your community still. Hell yeah. But yeah, I gave you guys a stream on my birthday while I'm getting shit-talked by people I used to call friend. So you guys, you don't get to complain about me taking tomorrow off to enjoy being 25. So yeah, everybody. Thank you so much for watching today. You guys have been so kind. Um... Like I said uh, before, Antifa Private 616, thank you for the $15, says, As someone who's a fan of both Xander Hall and Vosh, this whole thing feels painful. I hope the beef doesn't last. On another note, more birthday subs. So Antifa Private 161, I'm not saying I'll hold the grudge forever, but like Demon Mama called me like, I think the quote that I heard from a chatter was the Epstein of BreadTube or something, or said I'm like Epstein for supporting Biden Play the clip. Or, or whatever. Like she could Play the clip, asshole. Play the fucking clip. Compared, she basically, from what I could tell, attempted to pedo jack at me. Uh, buzzing, 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 Um, kind of incomprehensibly, but she said on Twitter it was just a joke. So she joked about me being Epstein. Um, when we're really just putting the cards on the table that bad, like when when we've really treaded that far. It's never going to be the same again, guys. You know, like, it's there's no healing. It was never the same after you freaked out on everyone close to you, after you were threatening insane shit, after you were venting all of your fucking untreated nonsense, whatever the fuck is going on in your head, when you vented that on the people who were closest to you, you freaked out, threatened them, accused them of blackmailing, all because you didn't get your fucking wit away. That was where it was over. Asshole. Thing that bridge they nuked anymore. Um, 
Sorry, guys. Sorry. When, when it's gone that far, dude, like, as a response to me offering, like, a polite debate, I, I can't, dude. That's, that's extreme. Hey, Evie Gretel, thank you for the birthday wishes. I got one last thing, okay, to say. And this is not a clip. This is something to say. Uh, for those who didn't know, the podcast isn't happening. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Sorry. Uh, I, I know it's a real bummer, but the uh, the podcast with Xander Hall is canceled. I hate to say. Um, yeah, you should log off. It won't be happening. Um, but hey, you know what? The funny thing is that one's been off the table for a long time. You want to know why? Because he didn't fucking do shit. Because he didn't fucking do anything. Cherry produced almost the entire thing. Cherry put, uh, drew, pulled on every contact that she knew. Cherry got art. Cherry got assets. Cherry put together branding. Cherry came up with episode concepts. Cherry organized meetings. And I went to those meetings. And you know who kept fucking having stuff come up every single time we were supposed to have a meeting about it? Zan. Oh, guys, I, I was, I'm, oh, I'm, t I'm too stressed out from this drama that I got myself into. Oh, I'm too stressed out. I just can't do it. So yeah, sorry. Uh, podcast's not happening. Podcast's not fucking happening. Anyway, there's not a whole lot else for me to say. I'm gonna just do a little summary here, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little summation of everything that we've seen here, okay? Um, which is to say that um, my friendship with Xander Hall ended a long time ago. I kept it peaceful, okay? I gave him an opportunity for us to just walk separate roads after everything that happened in December, okay? Uh, and he couldn't take it. He had to keep firing shots. He had to keep trying to leech clout. He, he tried. He needed so badly to keep trying to grow his little channel that even his friendships didn't matter to him. Even the, even the people showing the utmost grace didn't matter to him. And now, of course, we see him spinning and lying and filling the airwaves with literal lies that he won't even provide clips for because he knows that they're dishonest. At this point, I don't want anything from Xander Hall except for him to fuck off. I don't want to hear about his ass. I don't want to see his ass. I don't want to hear his, his uh, horrific, low-effort, lazy propaganda. Uh, I feel betrayed. I felt like my friendship was thrown in the trash. I felt like he didn't value any of the shit that I did. I helped him in person. Personally, I helped him, okay? I went myself with my own hands, my own muscles, my own blood and sweat, and helped him when he was in need. Not only has he not returned that favor, ever, but he can't even offer basic respect. He can't even offer basic honesty, okay? So he can bloviate, he can play all his stupid games, he can showboat for his, his little chat, he can, uh, he can tap on all of his little yes men to tell him that he's feeling good, okay? But in the end, I'll never forget how he treated me. I will certainly never forget how he treated the people closest to him, how he treated Cherry, how he treated White Nervosa, how he treated the people who made his life possible. I will never forget that. I will never forget him berating his closest friends, berating the people who were there for him. I will never forget him threatening them, okay? His childish, manipulative, pathetic, and dishonest behavior. Zan was a friend of mine, okay? He really was. And for a long time, I truly hoped that he would do better. But in December, he chose the wrong path. He chose a path of arrogance, ego, cruelty, abuse. And he's never walked back from it. Okay? So my road with Zan is long gone. And his road with many other people who helped his channel succeed are long gone. So he can talk about all the shit. He can make false accusations against me. He can lie all he wants, but he knows the truth. 
Zan knows that he lost the best things that ever happened to him because of his own actions. Zan knows that he doesn't have the talent on his team that he used to have. Zan knows that he can't carry his show the way he used to. Because he wasn't carrying it before. Zan knows the words that he said. And he can try and cope about it all he wants, just like he is about Biden, just like he does about everything. He can try and cope and tell people, oh, I was always right. Everything I did was right. They needed to be on board with me all the time, but they weren't. And he alienated one by one every person near him. He's the king of burning bridges. He does it with glee. But he's literally burning the bridges that he's standing on. I think that's all I have to say at this point. Um, this will in all likelihood be the absolute last thing I ever say about Xander Hall. Uh, I don't have any desire uh, for, for an apology from him. I don't care. I just don't want anything to do with him. Um, I do believe he owes a serious apology to Cherry. I believe he owes a serious apology to White Nervosa. I believe he owes a serious apology to a bunch of other people who put themselves on the line uh, to t tell the truth about another situation that he had no respect for. But I don't think, unfortunately, I don't think anybody's ever going to get those apologies. Uh, his path now is uh, a lonely path of uh, pathetic uh, clout seeking. And I'd say I wish him good luck, but I know where that goes. We all know where that goes. And I want to make one more statement. I said this earlier, but I'm going to repeat it again. Um, <laughs> a lot of people want to say when something like this happens, they want to say, oh, everybody on YouTube is like this. Look at this. This is trash. But it's not. There are lots of people who aren't like this. This is Zan's behavior. I said this also when it came to the Keffels thing. It's interesting how Keffels and Zan's uh, arcs mirrored each other. It's almost like they were kind of like operating on the same fucking coins when they conflicted against each other. The same fucking exact behaviors, just mirrored, you know? I said this about Keffels and I said this about Zan as well. That's their, their behaviors are their own options and you don't put, are their own decisions. And you don't put their decisions on other people. Zan chose to make these decisions. He chose to be an asshole. He chose to play birthday boy. He chose to do all this fucking nonsense, okay? That was on him, not on anybody else. And it doesn't say uh, it was his choice to have shallow connections, to disrespect his friendships. Not everybody's like that. There are a lot of people who actually do respect their friendships, who value their friendships. I know quite a few of them. Some of them are here in this chat right now. Some of them were mentioned in this story. Never ever let someone like that th make you think that everybody's like that because it's just not how it is. And uh, that was the behavior that both, interestingly, both Zan and Keffels concluded. You'll notice they talk about it. They say it in their videos. Oh, you know, none of this shit matters. Everybody's just a fucking snake in the grass. Everybody's a snake in the grass. None of this matters. That's their decision. And look at where they go. Look at how it hollows people out to come to that conclusion. Even if 50% uh, of the people in this space were as shitty as them, that would still mean 50% were not. So if you convince yourself, oh, whatever, it doesn't matter, they fucking hollow out. Kanpai says, I'm sorry you got betrayed in such a way from a friend. That fucking sucks. That's on him. Don't let that prevent you from being you in the future. Of course I won't. I'm long past the, uh, the like, hurt of it. That shit happened back in December. The hurt and the disappointment was back in December. Now I'm just tired and angry. I'm pissed off of him taking pot shots. I'm pissed off at him taking pot shots and then pretending like nothing happened and then trying to act like he's the victim in everything. That pisses me off, okay? It sets off my sense of injustice. So this, you can consider this after all of it. After he, I even reached out to him and he just blocked me on every, on every platform so that he could turn on his stream and lie about me. You know? You can consider this me having my peace, okay? You can have, you can consider this me saying enough is a fuck enough, all right? Asuka says, I had no idea it was that rotten. Yeah, that, 
The reason nobody had any idea it was that rotten because it was it was between us. Yes, it involved shit in the public sphere, but it was it was handled in private. We sorted the shit in private. He acted like a douchebag in private, and in private, everyone told him screw off. And it didn't need to be a matter of public shit. But I'm sorry, but I can't sit there and handle like this guy taking pot shots at every person who used to associate him while pretending he did nothing wrong. Him taking shots at, at, at Vosh, him taking shots at me, him taking shots at everybody else, taking shots at all the people who stopped, who, who used to work with him. Enough of that. That's, it's exhausting. It's infuriating. And it comes to a point where enough is enough. When I, when I responded in the first place to him in the little birthday boy stream, that was me saying, it, you heard me, you can watch the stream. I said, this shit annoys me. And I pushed back and that pushback resulted in him playing the biggest victim in the world, starting to say, oh, you're, you're this, you're that, the other thing. You're, you're, you, you compared me to Epstein, which I didn't do. You pedo jacked me, which I didn't do. But you know, it's whatever. At the end of the day, he made his choices. He's making his choices in real time and his choices will speak for themselves. It's so over basically for him, maybe. For him and his friendships. I, I, I don't think, I don't know. Like I can, the only other person I can think of who detonated so many friendships in such a short period of time is Keffels. Keffels and Zan are like, the, they're both, they're two sides of the same coin. They behave exactly the same. They both seem to just discard every person near them like they're trash. So yeah, oh, maybe RGR. Yeah, true, that's ancient knowledge. Damn, you're right, you're right. That was another one. It's true. You're right. I was, I was, I was letting my uh, recency bias get the best of it. Um, yeah. Uh, this is not my usual stream, um, but if you enjoyed this and found this entertaining, you should subscribe to me. Um, like I said before, you don't gotta, you don't gotta unsubscribe from anybody else. You can just subscribe to me and start having a good time. Uh, I've said this many times in the last few weeks. This is the anti gaslighting zone. Uh, and that's going to be the case going forward. There's a lot of bullshit going around, and I intend to not to not only not participate in forwarding the bullshit, but in also pushing back and dispelling some of the bullshit that you see. Most of the time here, we have a lot of fun, a lot of high energy fun. The energy in this stream is fairly typical, though usually it's not as angry and negative, unless I'm talking about a political issue that I'm angry about, or if I'm talking about Elden Ring discourse and whatever. But you should subscribe if you found this even remotely entertaining, because I guarantee you'll like my other stuff. Um, I appreciate everybody who supported me, and um, yeah, uh, I guess I'll end this uh, giving some credit where credit is due. Big shout out to Cherry, former member of my team, current friend, somebody who d dealt with way more than she should have uh, from Xander Hall after literally putting, and I, I truly mean this, uh, Cherry put her all into Zan's channel. I've never ever seen anyone work so hard for any creative venture uh, out that wasn't like literally their own. Like Cherry's name was not on the Xander Hall. Like it's not Cherry Hall, you know, it's Xander Hall. And Cherry put her all into it, truly. So big appreciation for Cherry, big appreciation for White Nervosa. Appreciation, you know, Vosh was kind of tangential to this, but appreciation to Vosh as well. Uh, I've, I've been close with Vosh for a long time and uh, love him or hate him, disagree with him on anything, I do appreciate him um, as a personal friend. Um, even when we disagree, we've always dis we've disagreed a lot, but never like this. Um, Appreciation, appreciation for Conyer as well. We didn't really mention Conyer and all this, but uh, I do appreciate Conyer. Conyer technically witnessed some of this, but not much. So, um, yeah. And of course, uh, a final little shout out of appreciation. Appreciation for my entire YouTube team. For Danny, my editor. For Nasty, my thumbnailer. Uh, for Silent, uh, the lead, our lead mod. 
um, for Alora, uh, who, who puts together our community call-in streams, for all of my mods, Gayfesh, Windleby. Uh, Gayfesh also does our, th our timestamps. Um, Jessica Metal, uh, Pan Ness Main. Um, I'm going to miss people. I'm sorry if I miss anybody. Oh, and Grime Dango. You know what? You get one too, because without you, I wouldn't have gotten eight compliments on my keyboard throughout this entire section. Anyway, I may have forgotten someone, and I apologize if I did. Thank you all. Seriously.